uh, my OBS because I guess it just like when I edited the one on the other side, it changed this one too for some reason. Oh, is it still misbehaving, or was that only just the fantasy grounds misbehaving? That was just the fantasy grounds. Like it was fantasy grounds not updating. It wasn't OBS or anything. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Fair. Really annoying. <laughs> That sound. Okay, there what we go. Sound? Whatever you just did. Perfectly normal Please sound. Make it again. Oops. I did not mean to click that. You fired. Damn. Oh no. Did you pull oh, that body did. looking kinda hot though? Did you pull a vampire moment? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Oh, did you have something that you shouldn't have clicked, but you're glad no, you didn't? No, no, he's, he's making a joke. <laughs> but I did just randomly, accidentally click something. It's kind of what happened the first time. Hey, honestly, you know why that happened back then, Isabel? No, I know what happened. The first time I've ever touched <laughs> yeah. 20. Like, this is the first time I've ever played on Mill 20. You I clicked? see what the button does. And then it posted it. I was like, oh, that's what it does. It posts it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 32 if months, Jesus. Fucking uh, features that are spoilers. I'm just not gonna even write them in my character sheet. <laughs> so it does that, that doesn't yeah, happen. No, no, no. The entire character <laughs> sheet was that. I know. <laughs> it was just There's a. No way I could. <laughs> Alright, Isabel, what were you saying? No, it's just like that type of thing. Because, like, once. That's the type of thing that once you say it, you can't unsay it. No, I, I, I know that. <laughs> I get that. You can pretend to take it back. I, I, I mean, I mean, me. I mean, technically, the characters never found out. Oh, shit. <laughs> True. It wasn't until very recently. What? Didn't they, 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 he reveal himself in character that he was a vampire very re recently? Did, yeah. did he? Yes. yes. He did. Yeah, I think it was oh, like. No. Actually, uh, the brain right doesn't before we know. Stopped. The joke is that the brain doesn't know because he revealed it when Charade was still in the park. Ah, uh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like right at the end. Or near the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We are started. I can do recap. Indeed. Uh, So, session... Previous to previous session, we were basically at the entrance to the mines, and we were like, "Yeah, let's go check out what's where the what's in the mines because that's where the zombos and various un thing like was it things that we don't want uh were in there." Undesirable. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> I could not remember. Um, so then we entered the tunnel at the beginning of the session. Well, I guess the end of the last session, we ended up in like a big area with lots of paths that we could take. Uh, and then beginning of the, the last session, we started going into paths. Uh, going while we were in the main cave, uh, the top left was a jeweler's tent. The top right was a, uh, the quartermaster's tent. We found the manifest and the bottom right was an individual contractor tent that was working in mine shaft five. And then going quickly through the mine shafts, uh, the first one was storage. Uh, it has a big dragon. Well, it has a Draco Lich in it. Uh, number two was storage. Uh, number three was an empty room. I guess all the things have been taken. Uh, number four was gem mining. Uh, number five was ore and metal mining. Number six was a long tunnel that led to, led to a cave-in. Uh, Number seven and number eight go to the same place, which is what the map's currently showing. There's a weird stone temple at the bottom of the thing that is made of bedrock. Uh, and we didn't go down nine and ten yet. Nope. And... Lobelia, to told, Lobelia told us to come back because the undead are coming back to the mine. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to detonate the tunnel as we leave. As we leave. Yes, correct, correct. Af after that was clarified, was made a lot more sense in my brain. Uh, <laughs> so that I was very concerned for it a will moment. slow something down, I don't think. If anything comes out of the Oh tunnel, yeah, there was a brain in a jar in that tunnel. Follow you. <laughs> Specifically, very, very large one. Yes. 
It was a nerd uh, brain in the chair. Nerd. It, had, it was wearing glasses. Yep. And had, okay. a, had a had a beaten brain neck beard. <sighs> so yeah. So as you stand now, you are Here's the brain. Take a few minutes. Set up a um, makeshift bomb. Try and blow up. Is it a makeshift bomb? If it's just a bomb. I think we're just using explosives, right? You said there was yeah. dynamite. Yeah. There is like a dynamite that you'll just be sort of piling it all together in an effort to collapse the tunnel. True. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. And which is this tunnel in particular, since you know there was literally a dragon that freaking destroyed its way through it, and a bunch of undead. Not exactly the most stable place in the world, so. Mm -hmm. um, and presumably, as uh, Mark out of character mentioned last week, this would probably fall on Sophia. Mm -hmm. Being the most uh, intelligent in that. Well, I mean, if anyone else could argue having. <laughs> Bomb well, I mean, I I wouldn't have explosive knowledge, but I would know that you know thunder and earthquakes and havens is a real thing, and I have thunder spells slash cantrips. So, I I'd like to think that Cecilia is aware enough to know that dynamite explodes, but doesn't know how to set it up, uh, or not like hurt herself with it, kind of thing. Yeah, the point would also be, yeah, I know what an explosive is, but also. Yeah. No yeah. Idea. Sophia would have worked probably with someone. Oh, I'm sure. Hundred percent. It's stuff. just you. <laughs> um. So yeah, as long as you ask Sophia to set it up, shouldn't be a problem. You'll be. Able, you could literally find like uh, plenty of fuse wire and just make an Ex extension for a piece Alarm. of dynamite. Maybe Dad knows how to use explosives. Hmm. And as long as you're smart about it, you can just use, like, the whole frickin' fuse length and let it uh, attach it to a piece of dynamite and run your asses out perfectly <laughs> fine. Huzzah. Huzzah. As you uh, hear a earth-shattering explosion, although not as big as the one that caused this in the first place, but pretty close. Not That's enough to... Wood. So then you'll make it back out to the docks. I presume you're also not going to dilly-dally there. It's about a few hours later, since it's a long walk into the mines, but you're hauling ass, so manage to get out. You can probably just make it back to the um, where you guys got on to the boat before nightfall. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Or, well, I guess not quite before nightfall, but before you start to suffer, like, any ill effects. It'll definitely be pretty late. How long would you say we've been in that mine? You probably actually weren't in the mine for, like, that long. You're probably down there for, like, four or five hours at yeah. the bottom. Four or five hours when we came and we entered in the morning. Yeah, so, yeah, you, like, entered first thing, so, like... It's lunch now. Considering, like, 16... Well, no, I'd say, because, like, going down and coming back up, probably, like, three hours each way. To get all the way down. Um, long mine. Probably two hours if you're really hauling ass getting out. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Well, we probably are because did hey, from, from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. is only five hours, so it would be like lunch. Yeah, lunchtime. Uh, right? 7 a.m. would be noon is five hours. Yeah, so it'd be like lunch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be like, well, yeah, but then again, three hours to get down there, ten, five hours to while you're around there. Oh, wait. You at three, and then two to three hours to get back out. Brunch. So it's like closer to dinner now. Oh, so there was five hours on the boat and it, then... Five, and so no, it was like, it was five hours that you were down in the mines. Going to the mines took a long time. Yeah, okay, that, that was the thing. Very long. I thought it was five hours since morning, so I was just like, it's only new. Okay, no. Yeah, no, sorry. So, probably, I'd say a total of, like, ten hours. Okay. So, like, you have five to six hours before you start, like, actually running into issues with having your long rest for the day. But that should be plenty to get back. Um, so, where are we now? Um, yeah, you're all, I did move you guys.
guys to here. So you guys would make it back to, yeah, I'm on the right layer. Here is where you... Okay. Uh, you could also, like, just choose to leave the docks and then go and land anywhere in the forest as well. Like, and land beforehand, but... <laughs> it'd probably be much safer to go where there's people. Yeah. And return the boat. And return the boat, yeah. We found a problem! Um, <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Well, now we have to think of a way to deal with the problem. Eventually. Well, I don't know, that's above my pay grade. I just lend people, sell boats, rent boats. I was going to say, I hope that all you do is not just lend them boats. I would hope you make some kind of money. You could rent boats. He said lend. Are you, are you telling me money says loans? The, says the, says the anti-capitalist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm starting to understand. It doesn't mean I have to like it. We live in a society. society. Well, I do. I meant, I meant rent, but... Lend if it's for official business, but even then, that usually means I get paid somehow. Or Was this considered rate. official business? Absolutely. It is the stake of the entire island, so I guess so. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad with all you've been through, managed to come back in one piece. There were no survivors. I usually do. Well, you guys too, but I meant the boat. <laughs> I usually do. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true uh, either way. And like he'd welcome you into the watchtower by the. Uh, dock. You guys like to spend the night inside. There's not really a distinct inn here, but there's definitely space to take a long rest and relax by, like, a fire. Hell yeah. Level up. That sounds good enough to uh, also, just for simplicity's sake, get a full long rest after all you've done. Be in a very much safe spot. You won't need to send watches either. They have those. What? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Who knew? Guard towers having one. Oh, I haven't this. popped out my character. That's the chest. That's everything, because you know, everything else is good. So. Yep. Yay. So I was gonna say, is there anyone who needs like a few five, ten minutes? For level eight? Me, possibly. To just level up. Yeah. Level just the, three plus just five. To figure out a spell. What to take. I just still don't know what I want to take. Uh, it's been a whole week. I don't think another five minutes is going to help. Actually, it's been two weeks. True. Uh, yeah, exactly. Two weeks. I've forgotten what I wanted. Oh, fuck. D6. D6 is four plus con. Yeah. Ugh. Don't worry, Max. I didn't choose what I Feels wanted wizard. until this morning. Feels wizard. What'd you, what'd you choose? Uh, inspiring. Unless wizard. you don't want to tell us. Oh, okay. No, 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 but I mean as a spell. My... As a spell? Did you not have an extra spell to take? Yeah, I get an extra spell. Here it is. Oh, are you posting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you took a first level spell? Yeah. Okay. The barbs. So you can cutting words, but like, better. Kind of. I listed what I wanted to do with this character, but now I don't remember. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, at this... I guess start the morning, I will spend 10 minutes to use Inspiring Leader, so everyone gets 12 uh, temp HP. Hell yeah. Where the hell is my... No, I see. What's the restriction? Uh... In 30 feet uh... of you, 6 friendly creatures. Yeah, but like, how often can you do it? Just uh, every day? At the Once bottom, a day, right? fin finish a short or long rest. They won't get it until yeah, yeah, like you can do it as many times as you want. You can just only get the benefit once per short or long rest. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's why it's a it's a good spell when or a uh, feat when you can't make temp HP. Like if your your classes don't give you temp HP for some yeah, reason. Yeah, because right? it like it gives everyone consistent. It gives everyone temp, temp HP. HP. Yeah, and since we all are pretty squishy. And yeah, exactly. twelve temp HP for. Um... I think the lowest HP definitely was Cecilia, right? 
I believe so. I think so. I was gonna say that's gotta be like a quarter of your health, right? Uh, said, uh it's a little bit more than a quarter of my health. Yeah, there you go. You said we regain everything, right? Because it's a good yeah, old good rest. Yeah, you're yeah you're taking like Still huge only rest, your, tons uh, of time. Hit dice. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I didn't use this. Uh, I didn't hit dice. I did. Uh. Oh, fucked up. It's okay. I got them all back. I didn't use. Them oh, right so now. what? The, wait. The only thing I get. An extra fourth level spell, and I can now, if I so choose, wild. That's weird that the Tasha's circle does not have a. Or am I blind? You could be blind, but it could also just not have it. Not have oh. a, a, a a level eight improvement. You should. Which, no, no. Which class. At all, you always at eighth level, you get an ability score improvement slash. No, 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 not 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 the ASI. The improvement to. Uh, wild shape. You, oh. The oh. improvement to wild shape isn't reliant on your subclass. Oh, it's just reliant it's your on class, class. It's main class. Yeah, level main eight, class max CR is one. Ability Moon, score. you can say technically. Oh, right, I knew the word Because it's worded like it just increases the CR you can use. The wild shape improvement is just listed in a in a table. Improves as shown on the beast shape table. Yeah. So you can become a giant eagle now if you want. You can fly. Oh, finally. No, I, I was just I was just so used to the subclasses tying into something. Mm. Which means what? No. That means over half of you could, t like, one person could ride the giant eagle. And then one of you is the giant eagle, and then Cecilia can just fly. I could, I was tempted to get re reduced in enlarged, honestly. <laughs> it's a fun one. Okay. Be small. It's it's not that useful. It's a. It's not that useful, I I find. But it's really fun. But yeah, like, when it lands, it's like. Do I? Do I just? Uh... Meta magic item just seems like a lot to me. Do I just? Here we are leveling up, guys. Do I? Done. I'm just waiting. For yeah, no, no, I know. I'm just, I just couldn't remember if I had tape. I... Do I? I think the smartest thing really to do would just be to take my con to sixteen. Probably that sounds good. Because like, I have a twenty in whiz, so. And everyone getting uh, Jesus rolls to do the fun stuff where they get a beat, and I'm just here like third level barbarian. Eh. Hey, you got wild magic barbarian. Third level is a spike, but it's also one of those like you picked this. Yep. Okay. Uh. I, uh, I just kind of expected people to have it done before session, I guess. I am done. I'm just oh, getting um, the spells. Yeah, yeah. Just... It's. I would have done this last week. But Noah said not to do it. Not last week, two I weeks said ago. Not to implement it, but I said to be ready. Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do is really the health. You said do be ready. I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna touch my sheet then, and I'll do it later. Because like I have all the stuff picked out. I just need to copy and paste. Fair. I also did add that. I guess at that time I was considering having something further, but just decided that'd be stupid. Or having a chance for there to be something like now you'll pretty much be on. Track. Oops. All right. Oh, and I'm updating my total spell well. points. I'm not updating the current amount that I have, just the total, right? Yeah, well, well, you get them all. You, it you automatically go updates up because you're in doing a long rest. Right, 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 right. Also, the spell points automatically update. Yeah, it should as long as you used the uh, spell points checker in roll twenty. Right. Yeah. yeah. Also, cool. by the way, yep. I right. swapped lightning bolt to fireball. <laughs> yeah, you said. Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, you mentioned Just that previously. And yeah, it's totally because. Right. Can you twin cast fireball? No. no. It's an AOE. Why is the spell to have a target? Just, yeah, it has to be a single target. Fair. Bolt. So you can like twin cast haste. 
you actually can't even cast Fireball twice in a turn using Quicken Magic. Rules is written. Normal rules. Yeah. It's because still... you can't cast the level. Nope. Can't cast more than one level spell. That's oh. I just found out. I just realized catnaps uh not a ritual. Fuck. <laughs> Catnap. Oh, catnap. Oh, that's unfortunate. It makes sense. It's. I think it'd be actually way too good if it was a ritual. It would be really good if it was a ritual, but it kind of feels bad to be to have like to be cost at that. Then. Yeah. But still. Um. So you wake up in the morning. Um. You all have oh, shit, rations. Outside. So probably took those down one. Uh, what's your face, gun? You need to roll your. Yes. Oh yeah, take I, the I rations. Will, I will wheel or woe. Uh, give me an even numbered. Now. Give me a random even numbered uh dice. D D D two. Four twenty. Who who was I? Carrying rations for it was everyone except Niall. Or was it? Pretty sure that was the case. Yeah. Yeah. That's so it's four. Uh, sorry. If I were to take polymorph, would I have to see the thing before I can cast it? Are we going with that rule? Like, you have to know what you're casting it into? Yeah. I mean... I'd say to be... Dinosaurs don't exist, kind of thing. I, guess if you I mean, dinosaurs definitely exist. And I would say... You like unless you, there's something specific other than like a T Rex that you're thinking of. The large probably, probably know enough to. Yeah, I think as long as you have like that general idea of what yeah, it like, is. Yeah, I, I think you would like dinosaurs definitely exist. Um, if Giant you have apes. anything in specific that you might be like, does this Monkey. work? I'd say you can probably read it in the book or just. Would uh general, would Nile. Would Nile be okay with being polymorph? That's something that I, uh, would Sophia would ask. It. He completely understands how magic works. And and if Sophia were like, "Hey, you, you are okay with this," you'd be like, "Yeah, man, <laughs> yes. whatever." I, I would have literally just said, "Like, I know exactly how magic works. It's fine." Okay, I'll take polymorph then. So be it. Cool. So I won't take polymorph. I also I see we be wheeling. Victor group one, the black hole was it? Oh, I'm 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 short. Three prepared. No, can't. Never mind. I'm I'm dumb. You learned to math. Well, no, I just I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, 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 okay. I agree. Cool. So when you wake up, as I said, rations and the uh, head guard. We'll probably come down and mention it, along with the uh, shipwright for the area. We'd just be like, well, we uh, don't have any canoes down here, so you'll have to travel on foot upstream anyway. And just be careful. Probably best if you stick to the stream and follow it up to the mountain, because there's been uh, some signs of unrest and creatures in the woods, but I think you already know that. A werewolf. Uh, no, not necessarily just, you know, undead. Beasts also getting that. desperate. People just that being said, this is such a, compared to the other side of the, for of the island, this forest is relatively small, so I don't expect you to run into anything. Especially anything that would be willing to actually take you on. And if we do, I'm pretty sure we're more than well prepared for it. Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, assuming you're just heading directly back to the city, um, that actually the whole journey will go without incident. You'll probably notice a handful of like wolves and other things walking around, but as mentioned, nothing really wants to tangle with you. Um, this, uh, this section of the island is still relatively safe. Um, pass by the uh, Canadian Dragonborn again. Would you like to say hello? Yes. Okay. 
I just wave at him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get up to like basically follow the rapids up to the top of the, or like to where they're like shack and uh, where they live. And yeah, you see the dragonborn that came down with you are totally fine. I'm like, oh, hello there. I'm glad to see that you're all right. Oh, I guess we could say the same of you too. We're all oh, glad yes. to see you back. And we all made it back without too much incident, although we did see some things looking at us from on the water. Yes, I was going to ask if you ran into that, because we, we did uh, on the way. That there. seems like there isn't anything too much in these woods that's uh, willing to go yet, but it's only a matter of time before it gets too dangerous that they keep... Uh, that, mo that beast might get desperate and start attacking. So uh, we did see a couple zombies wander in the woods too, and that's a bit worrying, but they didn't seem interested in us at the time. Oh, yes, that's right. Hope your Are task they... went well. I bet, uh, I bet, uh, it was Lobelia there, eh? I bet oh, yes, be yes, here to hear what you've got to say. Oh, for so sure, for sure. Catch up another day. Yeah, is there anything wrong with these two? Nope, they're just okay. fucking... Just wondering if they were, like, being acting weird or not. No, they're totally... They're they're weird Minnesotan-Canadian... <laughs> whatever. Have we, ever, have we ever grabbed their names? Uh, Probably not. I, I don't think you did, and I... Because I also don't think I had them written down. <laughs> Mobilia and Mobilia. Got it. Got them. I mean, no, I probably would have... But, um... John and Doe. John O'Craig and James McBride. John and James? That's nah. Um, Jesse and James? Jesse and James, oh no. Is that what I've seen Pikachu? <laughs> Where is he? Um... We're going back to the city. Bill, Bill and Ted. Billy and Bobby. Got him. Red and green. Uh, anyways, yeah. That's all. I was we'll considered that, but I felt it'd be stupid with them being literally white dragonborn. <laughs> if I'd have thought about it, I might have made them red and green dragonborn just for that. But uh, I did not think about it. Hmm, copying my thunders, eh? No. Oh. Gravity's gravity's will be like. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to make it so that it like will ask me what level I'm casting it at. Right. The last the first two rolls were god rolls. Thirty six and thirty. Right, so you can make it imagine things working properly. Well, I'm just not sure where to look for it. Yeah, true. At least you yeah, know what well. you're taking. <laughs> Um, I guess, other than that, yeah, you pass on along them. By the end of the day, like, the sun's probably just starting to go down as you get to, um, the mountain. And again, sort of just fast-tracking, because I think it'll be more interesting to get to the next, uh, mm -hmm. plot points rather than oh, yeah. in the wilderness. It's just let me know how much there. food stuffs. The thing is, like, I feel like travel at this point is... No, no, it's not quite irrelevant yet, but okay. It's not quite irrelevant. I just think right now, especially because the zombies would be more concerned about, like, or everything seems more concerned about what just happened at the docks. I want to crush some skulls. How, so I guess, like, how much food should I mark out? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mark out anymore. It'd just take you, like, the full day's travel to get to, back to the city, where you can just uh, buy food anyway. Cool, cool. Um... It's also relatively short travel, like you're only going from the coast. Again, that forest in the top area, probably about half your travel would just be actually going over mountainous terrain to get to the uh, tunnel going leading into the city. Cool. Ah. Um, and so, with that, you then make your way back to the college and back to Lobelia's office. And you'd probably enter, and she would be just, like, reading, and just sort of, like, look, and look up and be like, oh, good, you're back. I've been a, I mean, not worried, but kind of worried. 
Aw, you're worried about us. I understand. The last message I sent was about the last uh, the Draco Lich. <laughs> well, there was that. Yeah. I mean, well, do you replied to the one for where she was like, "Hey, what the hell? The undead seem to be yeah. retreating, right?" True. But right, right, right. there's it sounds like there was a lot down there to deal with, and we're really not ready to deal with it yet, but we're glad that the attack slowed for the time being. We blew up the mine, leading to the brain, to whatever it's coming from. They're coming from. That will probably slow uh, it down for a bit. That's good to hear, at least. Uh, hopefully, it's hopefully it does. Although, as you said, with uh, after getting your sending about the Draco Lich, I doubt anything would slow anything like that would slow them down for too long. And. Yeah, like they managed to get out there in the first place, but I guess I'll wait to hear what you have to say before I make any more assumptions. So, so the giant brain, what appears to be a black tomb? It was black, right? Yeah, it was definitively like a black, like, very smooth and shiny stone. Obsidian. Stone that's yeah. not a yeah. yeah, not not obsidian, but bedrock obsidian. I don't know. I mean to be fair to to fists, you can't you can't punch out obsidian with your fists anyway, can you? You can. It will just take like a few minutes. Uh it just takes like practically Minecraft. forever. Because in Minecraft I'm pretty sure everything that is not bedrock is destructible by hand. Yeah. Or by any like it just you just don't get the item back. Forever, and adding, you don't get the item. I think they are adding a new block that's pretty much also indestructible. But yeah. But can you place it? Not really. Only spawns in a structure. Anyways, we can see we'll continue on before we rant about Minecraft blocks. Minecraft. Uh, well, I'm. There have there. Um, we can look into these brains. I don't think we have too much information on, like, it's just not something that's been relatively seen, as there's even rarer than dragons nowadays. Yeah, I think and... I think one of the reasons why they haven't been seen very much, because they seem to have the ability to take over people's minds and control them. Like, the guard, there were guards at, at the front of the mines, and we thought, and we found out that they were being controlled by smaller brains. Well, that's that does remind me of something that was in the Dragonborn's legends. They said that their own people would disappear and come back as part of the enemy. But I hadn't put much stock in it or much thought into how that would happen until now. Like I assumed that, like the uh, blue Dragonborn of the island, that they might have willingly defected um, the evil, but. That's something we'll have to look into, because that seems separate. And it seems to me it's pretty clear that the... I mean, seems a bit cliche, but that large elder brain is probably what is behind all this. Yeah, most likely. At least, that's what it seems like. Big brain controlling small, controlling small brains. Checks out. Controlling undead army. I guess that's a pretty decent uh, correlation to make. I'll see if there's anything about anything, any more information I can find about them in the meantime. But I think another important discovery is that material. And as you've described it, it just so happens that uh, Zerus, the owner of the bazaar in... Uh, Northern Pike's Landing has described an item very similar to that seems to be made of the same material <gasps> you just described to me. Mm. They said it was found out in the middle of the desert and brought back to him. Mm. I'm not sure it necessarily has a connection to where you found directly, but there's definitely a connection there of some kind. Um, so we we'll probably go to him and ask about it. See if we can I, 
think that would be a really good course of action. As I said, I don't think we're ready to necessarily assault uh, the enemy in the mines at the moment. We could try, but I think it would be foolhardy without the support of the uh, what fighters we have in the Navy and in the Army. The guards here aren't exactly, you know, warriors. So I we think... are. We're hardened warriors. Isn't that right, Niall? <laughs> yeah, as soon as she says warriors, it Quinn slowly but surely turns to Niall. All the ghosts at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone looks upon him. <laughs> I wish I was home. <laughs> we'll make you a new home. Okay. Uh, questions. Um, shopkeeper's name and the item, and what the item uh, is. Like, if it's just a unidentified item, whatever. But like, what the item is too. Mysterious orb. Okay, mysterious. mysterious obsidian orb. You can even say it as that, just so it's uh. Wait. Repeat that. Mysterious. Obsidian orb. The orb. And the shop owner is Zerus. He is the uh, owner of the largest bazaar in Pike's Landing. Cool, cool. Zarus just spelled Z A R U S. Oh, U S. Um, I think that's those both that and trying to get the navy back through the fog need to be our next priorities. Also, another thing that may help, I received a quest for aid. Um, I guess it's a bit of a stretch to call her my friend, but from Evelyn, who owns one of the larger magic shops <laughs> in Savathalas. And we, I do a lot of business with her, but she can be a bit, uh, well, she's Annoying. a lot to handle. So I think it would be a good idea if you went to there on your way to uh, before you head over to Rock's Pocket Landing. Is this is this the lady with the bag of holding? Holding? <laughs> this is the lady with the bag of holding. This is me pointing you towards the relatively like allocated story way. The hag of holding. You didn't. We already knew about it. We were planning on hitting. Yeah, this like, is out of character. We know. I'm this. giving in you a decent. Uh, Reason to no. have a detour. In character, we knew. Got him. No, but in character, we knew that she has a bag of holding, and we were looking for one. Uh, and that um, she looked like she needed something done. Yeah. <laughs> we have already have an agreement. It was more, I guess, a reminder. That's fair. In case people had a forgotten. Or I mean, like you spied an individual magic item from on top of a mountain, fifteen thousand well, feet away. So Theo <laughs> would help regardless of, like, a, uh, a reward at the end if, if she needs help. I'm, yeah, okay, Mrs. Selfless, we got it. She will, she will help. Come on, Sophia. What's a little bit of Robin gonna hurt you, huh? huh? Come on. Why would you? Why, why would you be wrong? Uh, oh, you gotta remember, Sophia's a rich kid too. He's not a rich kid. Decently, I have oh. to assume. I mean, she lost her parents. I'd say like not middle. Really. I'd say like the gnome, the adoptive gnome family would be like solidly middle class. Yeah. They just yeah. actually have a good connection with Wilfred. Oh, okay, yeah. fair enough. I just assumed Wilfred was like your godfather or something, and like he's just here <laughs> to like take his I god know. kid in. I mean, I know, but not really. He's a ha he's a family friend. That's all. Okay, <laughs> not not so extreme. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm a godfather. Tell speaking me. of which, uh, as you're talking with Lobelia, Wilfred would come in, and Wilfred. actually is carrying what appears to be a large, very weirdly shaped saddle. Wilfred. <sighs> oh, hello, Sophia. I was hoped that uh, I'd find you here. Um, and not have to leave this with uh, Lobelia, because I did want to see you again. Um, <laughs> I, I decided that you were sent here to, you know, 
learn from me and you're not necessarily getting that uh, the same opportunity but we need your help and as sort of a I'm sorry I'm putting your child in mortal danger but <laughs> it'll be okay I made you this saddle is that for what I think it is it is uh, built to the specifications that you showed me of your golems Maybe. and it is magical so it will fit okay. any of them and it will protect you from the effects of the heated metal <laughs> and... he runs to go and give him a hug <laughs> he, he, he would absolutely give you a very like genuine hug back oh um but anyone with like paying any attention will be able to see that he feels like pretty sad and guilty about like putting having to put, putting yeah like yeah. everything that's happening and putting you. But he has no choice, and it's clear that you're like not doing a bad job either. <laughs> but you're also a child. Yeah, so he's he's like happy, but also in, in the back of his like mind, very distraught, and he like shows. Yeah. <laughs> Does. Yeah, she she notices it, but she she'll pat him in the back and says everything's okay. We'll be fine. We have big, strong people on our team. Look at that guy; he's really big. <laughs> Again, points that us. <laughs> the like three foot tall gnome <laughs> stares at Nile. He is really big. Don't stare too long; you'll go blind. <laughs> I, I, I know he doesn't really like small people. He has something against them. I'm not sure I what it is. Nothing but... about the size of people. It's how you use them. I it... say he probably enjoys the co company of kobolds fine. Was it, was it, was it gnome specifically? <laughs> yes. Fizzlebang's not a gnome, right? He's a... No, I think he's a gnome. gnome. No, no, he's a gnome. Yeah. Yeah, hey, shrug. Yeah, she would say that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big guy. Please don't come anywhere near him. That's a uh, safety reason. Uh, anyways, she she says, do, do, "Do you want do you, do you want me to pay for the the thing, or is that a, is is it a gift?" I consider it a gift to help you uh, on your quest. It's very and very to help you. help your uh, golems protect you as much as uh, possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll treasure it. Right. So, uh, because he's a gnome, he's probably shorter than Sophia. Yes. Yes. Hilarious. By a little bit, yeah. Isn't it like by two feet? A little Those two are feet. Very short. Well, it depends on how yeah. tall. Uh, no, I just said that he was three feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> then yes. Uh, You're like almost yeah. twice his height. Yeah. Yeah, like they and Wilfred is especially small for a gnome, which are between three and four feet tall. Yeah, so, I'm, like, de I'm definitely like 1.5, 1.6 times taller. <laughs> basically, really yeah, you like give him this huge hug, and he's basically just hugging your legs. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a child. If you turn his like, your child back with game, huge his amount of plot, hair, you can hide him in your hair. You can hide no, you know how gnomes can hide behind someone who's like one size category larger? <laughs> the same. She's technically the same, but like. Yeah. Also, a uh, question about the saddle. Yeah. Sophia has humanoid shaped golems. Does she just ride on their shoulders? Is it really cute? Yep, <laughs> yep that's basically what it was. Ride. No, is it piggy? Yeah, no, no, it's straight up on the shoulders, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adorable. It's, it's, the sh it's the shoulder thing that dads do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this, like, would basically be sort of like a... It almost would just look like a... I don't know, like, it's those things that, like, Egyptian pharaohs had that, like, goes around the neck. Mm, yeah, yeah. In a similar way, like that jewelry, like a huge necklace, but it's just, like, a leather, and it would just sit on Shoulder top pads? And, and a yeah, sort of just shoulder pads and, like, a little... A spot to keep her away from the head as well for the heated metal. And Wait, no, as an think. added benefit, it also gives you the benefit of the Saddle of the Cavalier. Oh, what does that do? I don't. I 
Oh, I know we just well, didn't... in this saddle on a mount, you cannot be dismounted against your will if you are conscious, and attack rolls against your mount have disadvantage. Oh my god. I know. I, know. I, I will say real quick. I know we just said it's like a piggyback ride, but now I'm imagining it looking like this. No boy. <sighs> no. <laughs> that would be in the way. <laughs> that would be so funny. Hey, I mean, Armor. Noah. Noah gets to choose though. Uh, oh, well, well, the only thing is I can't justify that being like an easy thing to get in and out of. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> I just thought it was fun. It would just be a baby pack, a baby backpack. Uh, and it would also, when you used on the heated one, would specifically have like a, it would like go down its back as well, so you can climb up and down mm -hmm. without yeah, yeah. needing to actually ladder. touch them. Basically. Um... So there's that, and Lubil and I go, oh, well, that reminds me. I also have a gift for all of you. And she'll pull out a bag that contains... A Glock. Oh, shit. <laughs> the baby has a gun. The baby has a gun. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it contains uh, ten pearls. And very specifically, I guess like they are circular in shape. Three of them shine a uh, very like bright baby blue, and the other seven are sort of a more like washed out like aquamarine color. And she would explain these are pearls that will allow you to if you crush them break them they will summon me to you this will help with some of our you know communications in dire circumstances the light ones here do not summon me like it does not summon me it summons sort of a shade that i can see through and control and these ones i can inter i cannot interact with the environment i can just see everything that's around you it's more of a scrying effect, except I can sort of walk around and experience it myself. I was about to say Zoom call. These three, and she points to the darker, like bright blue ones, allow me to cast spells from the avatar, you could say. And those you would like to say for dire need. Well, I don't know too many really powerful combat spells, I think I could still be of great use with this. Nice. Cool. So nice. basically, yeah, so, and specifically, so... the light green ones last for an hour, where she can interact with, like, your, she can't interact with the environment, but she can, like, walk around and walk see and things, talk. and, like, talk if, like, you're stumped on something. Potentially offer advice, um, and or be like, "Hey, what the hell is this?" Including like in combat, you could do it, and she might be able to tell, give you tips on any monsters you come across, what to do. Um, and the other ones last for five rounds, and she gets to like cast from a limited subset of spells that she has when you call it. Are you able to post that here on yes. Twitch chat? I'll put it here. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the Discord. Did, uh, did Cecilia want to take them? Sure. I think it makes more sense. What do I call them? Lobelia's pearls? I don't know. Yeah, that's. I was thinking that. Lobelia's pearl necklace. Except, except they're dressed in a bag. Get wrecked. Yeah, I mean, you can put them on necklace pearls. if you want. On necklace pearls. A bag of pearls.
How many of the light green ones do we get? Seven. And then there's three of the other one? Or five of the other yeah. one? Yeah. Three of the other one for ten total. So oh, green right. pearl is for information, and then the other one is for casting spells. Yeah. It's like better sending, but costs a different resource. Yeah. will be useful when we're in a pinch. Yeah, so it's like they will be, and much like as well, the turret that Wilfred gave you earlier, they are quite powerful and can be used to for, well, like any medium difficulty combo will basically become ridiculously easy with it. Or if you're like in a pinch, it can definitely turn the tide. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I'm going to use during the Draco Lich fight. If we ever fight that. I mean, are we going to just leave it there? Someone else can deal with it, it's fine. You have to deal with it at some point. <laughs> Someone has to deal with it at some point. Someone has to deal with it. It'll have to be us. I mean, who else? We know that there isn't that many yeah, I know. adventurers on this island. Just import some, it's fine. Import some. Yeah, wait, uh, Lobelia would have told us that nothing really has passed through, like, the fog, right? Like, any yes. international waters have not been... There's been no ships that have come in okay. since anything, like, that was within the range of the fog is able to travel perfectly fine, but there's been no contact from ships that were known to be either traveling to the island or were outside the fog at the time. See, what we do is we deal with the fog, and We're then they the can fog. import some people to get the Draco Lich. <laughs> <laughs> you really yeah, don't want to take care of it, don't you? It's fine. It's Draco Lich. I actually think we'll be fine, but like... I think we'll be fine, but it's a Draco Lich. Especially because you'll be going back to it later. And we're prepared. We can get, like, Bane of Draco Lich arrows or something. Got him. Those are real. A witch spell that's just to kill a Dracolid. A single one. A specific one. Get, get someone to write a spell scroll. <laughs> Wish spell scroll. I wish to kill Dracolid. Um, Merry Christmas, mother. So with those, you will, like, as, as said, out of character, you can save the three for your most dire needs. Or potentially if you run into something like if you run into something as scary as a Draco Lich, I think together we could deal with it. Um, but the other seven, don't be too picky with them. If you're if you need uh, my intelligence or knowledge or just opinion or just need to relay some information, oh, it would be much me. better than sending. Or you just miss me. It does last an hour, so we could get uh, we could have some nice tea together. <laughs> Even though she'll be unable to drink it. No, but she can have tea. She can have tea over here. Yeah. True. But like, I guess before or after. You have to prepare special tea. I have to assume it knocks her unconscious. No, actually. So for that one specifically, the she can uh, exit and enter it. Oh. When you cast it, basically, she gets, like, a... She gets an effect that allows her to switch between them, basically, at will. I assume this is an action to use. <laughs> yes. It is a full action to summon, use, whatever. Yeah. Believe To believe hard enough um, that the marbles explode. Hard. What are the spells we've seen her cast so far? Yeah, because we could just ask her, um, so what can you do when we get you? Yeah, or what kind of spells can she do with these ones? I don't actually think uh, it matters. She just said healing spells. So well, I, so she can do healing spells. Um, you also seen her cast like shitloads of teleportation type spells. Mm. Um, uh, she would also probably say, well, there's... And there's a handful of spells, but they tend to drain the form a lot more. But I could I could probably cast Disintegrate from it. Oh my god. That's <laughs> one of the very few 
It's a sp uh, it's it's useful outside of turning people into dust. Like... Times. You can make it tunnels. Yes, that's exactly how the It uh, makes perfect how build, cubes. How we built the uh <laughs> The tram line to the land, we were able Cintigrate. to enchant something. Integrate. <laughs> no, but it's like, again, it make, because it makes things in the shape that it makes things in. Like, where in medieval times are you going to find a perfect, like, 90 degree angle like that? You have to sure, work for that. Also, like, literally, perfect <laughs> carve. That sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen, but I'll believe you. Accent, someone accidentally walks in front of you. Yeah. Um, also... I mean, it goes through them uh, too, it's fine. Force is another uh, spell I could cast through that. And then as well, yes, your classic Cure Wounds. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a long list I can... Uh, I'll I can I will check what I have listed for her and I will write write it out if one of you reminds me. Sure. But I mean you can um, also say I, it's also just cast whatever she thinks is most Yeah, exactly. That's like she, whatever she thinks time. is most relevant and her like well her whole thing is she has no restrictions on what spells she can learn. Oh shit. Uh, she doesn't, hasn't necessarily chosen to learn everything. She just does not have the restrictions. Oh yeah, isn't she like level twenty? Yeah. Also yes. Also yes. But she she has the ability that uh, what's his face has to learn just anything from any spell. What's his face? Uh, Bookman. Leon is that yeah. is also able to learn any spell from any class. Leon. Is that what you're talking about? One 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 zero three seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I don't actually know Leon. What? He's the Dark Souls. Oh, oh, yeah. Dark Souls character. He's able yeah. to learn any, oh, of the, yeah. any of the classes' spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was like, what? Is Who's this the that? character I made up and I'm missing? No, it's the character you know of. You <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It totally is. Yeah, no, that's pretty much, yes. I was also confused because I never, I, the only character I know is Cersei. And <laughs> Cersei, Leon, and uh, Urel. Zero. I'm not gonna remember URL. <laughs> That's fine. I I remember yeah. URL because it's Uriel. <laughs> yeah. Of Londor. I was thinking Uriel from a uh, cowardly dog. Uriel Septum. Oh shit. Um, that one time, uh, Jean Luc Picard played a Skyrim character. No, I I, I do recall. Anyways, yeah. Uh, we can we can. Uh, Get her spells in later. That's okay. okay. We don't yeah. have to do it now. Um, and then, so you wrote down your saddle. Oh, it's not hard to think of. Nah. You get whenever you're riding on a construct, one of your constructs specifically, you don't get hurt by them. Yeah. And, uh, or by any of their passive abilities specifically. Because I think this is, no, the stone one chooses, right? The stone one, yeah, is what whatever they it's just the they metal may one choose. That the metal yeah, yeah, one so it's... Uh, yeah. And you can't be dismounted and disadvantage yeah. on attacks against it. But they can still attack you. But it's a bit harder. Oh, yeah. Justify that. Um... I mean, if I'm going to put myself on top of a golem, I'm expecting to to, to get attacked. To be a bit of a target. Or to be a target. Like, I'm not I'm not going to be like, I'm not um, a target. Psh, no, can no, I a just, target. just say in terms of getting on and off, probably, like, well, isn't it, it's for Saint for mounting, it's five feet of movement, isn't it? No, it's half, half it's speed. Half speed? Oh, man. Unless you're cavalier class, which is then half, five feet of movement. Oh, that's why, because you're a cavalier, right, Doug? Yeah. Yeah, oh, Doug's, a, ca I Doug's a cavalier fighter. That's or is it? Is it mountain cavalier? It's actually no. I think it's just cavalier. Mountain I think you're right. Mountain. Or is it? Cavalier? Okay. Oh, Sorry, maybe I was gonna say I will deck. It'll just follow the same. Would he be a? Would Doug be a cavalier? I have to assume it. It just be the default. I have to assume because she doesn't know how to mount things up. She's never done it. Yeah, I just was just gonna clarify that. That it is the default. Okay. So it will be half. I just thought the default okay. was five feet. Half. 
Well, half speed is okay because when I get onto it, it still has its full speed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it's really not that big of a deal not to spend deal. half your movement when you get another creature's movement. Yeah. I have a question. Can other people be on it? That was what I was going to uh, ask. It's a it, medium it, it, creature, but medium. it is very hefty. So it's, up, it's technically up to you. Uh, it's carrying capacity is probably... Cecilia is pretty light. I mean, they have 19 strength. They can yeah. carry you. Cecilia I weighs the same as your character. The Cecilia weighs yeah, lighter. I, say, I would say for, like, rule of cool, probably, like, could definitely work. The only person I'd say, and not necessarily... <laughs> To be mean would probably be Dial. Yeah. He's large. Yeah. He's large. Mm -hmm. He's a big yeah, boy. Yeah, he is. He can but... probably carry him in his arms, technically, but... Yeah, but... Um, not Maybe not on top of him while still fighting... Things. Fighting things, yeah. Now, Niall is the party. So... But I will say for functional purposes, I would let other people do it. Nice. Um, just not, definitely not more than one person at a time. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Um, so, although it's about to just say BRB, we, you now have, uh, I mean, not so much of a choice, because, yeah, you want your uh, delicious, delicious bag of holding. Yeah. She needs help, right, with something, so yeah. we can go help her. Um... But yeah, when Isabel's coming back, we can decide to go in that direction, or we can go now. I'd assume that would be the direction you're heading in. Um, Is anybody wait, opposed? Wait. Where are we going? I just grabbed something. Uh, to the uh, to... forest place, Savathalus, the elf city, to go talk to the magic shop owner. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we all agreed already. Yeah. yeah. So it just Isabel's AFK for the moment, mm -hmm. so... Troop. I also am AFK, but you could never tell until I opened my mouth. Schrodinger's uh, AFK. <laughs> but you can't guess what I'm doing while I'm AFK, though. Are you painting Warhammer figures? No. Yeah. Are you cooking food? No. Are you cooking Warhammer figures? Uh, no. Are you close? No. Tell us, what are you oh, doing? Told you, you wouldn't guess. Nothing, you're playing D&D. &D. No, like... I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm repotting some suck while I... Uh, wait for the kettle to boil. Succulent? You're repotting Mark Zuckerberg? It's said suck, not zuck. Yeah, it's zuck like repotting succulent plants? Yeah, I'm transferring a bunch of propagations from... Uh, a shitty plastic seed starting tray to a bunch of tiny dollar store nice. clay pots. Nice. With the world's tiniest trowel. The world... I didn't know you weren't a plant. Uh, he you is would... a plant. <laughs> well, you see, this is this is a four four dimensional uh, RP for my druid. Oh, hey, gun. By the way, yeah, uh, I'm setting up a spot to play online Magic the Gathering. I told Noah to do it, too, and Isabel also seemed interested. Are you using X-Mage, Spell Table, or Cockatrice? Uh, our tables. With webcams. So, Spell Table. Uh, I, I don't know what that is. It's literally a website or utility to do exactly that. Okay, why would we need that when we have Discord and webcams? <laughs> because my brain is smooth, and I know of spell table. Remote magic made easy. Uh, Spelltable.wizards.com. So I mean, it's actually by. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's literally just for uh, yeah, so it's for building. Literally for playing paper magic. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It does, uh, I would be interested to see how well the image recognition works. It, it, I mean, I know that uh, Shivam and several of the other members of the CAG did it for their, uh, 
booster box commander league. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Just back. Just deciding to go to Savathalus to Avalon shop because it makes sense. Yep. I can hold my beer. Oh my god. Nice. Excellent, even. Um, okay, one sec. Wagadoshes. Radical. Um, has anybody ever used the word radical unironically? Several Back times. In the 70s. <laughs> Probably. I. I need to reset this. Or okay, boom. I just do do Uh so I will assume you also spend uh take one one day, like to take your long rest here. Uh, one gold each is the average. Yeah. Uh, don't go anywhere, so. Pretty much, I'm need... just. Every single time we take a rest, I'm automatically just activating the uh, inspiring leader. I assumed. Yeah, that's like every time, short or long rest. Like, I don't think there'll be a point where that will be an issue. Like, um, a rest may get interrupted, and that would be the worst case, but like before and after, definitely not a problem. Or well, uh -huh. after I guess each one. Where's my gold? There it is. My gold! How much gold do we get? What do you think? I don't know where. Oh, actually. Yeah, speaking of which, you also get your freaking fee for doing that. I almost forgot about yeah. that. That wasn't. You almost got robbed. You almost got robbed. That reward was like the pearls is on top of everything else so let me go see what i had uh so situation um it is two thousand gold what was the how many are we five yeah yeah so you can each? either average it, it do you say 250 each yeah i'm a, probably an idiot yes it's 400 each, yeah, 400 or each. you could just have a gold carrier. We'll Doesn't matter get, to me. We'll probably do like each. We'll get a gold carrier when we finally get a bag of holding. Yeah, well, when we get, in, in my brain, the most efficient use of storage space would be. Uh, Izzy, what's the, what's the, there's a limit on your, the box, right? Yeah, it's a box, basically. It's box it's size. Just... No, 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 I meant like on the casting. Is it... No. Can you no. can you pull it out of hammer space at any time, or is it just? Oh, I think it's an action to do that. Here, let me let me actually oh, yeah. pull it up. I guess at any time, quote unquote. Yeah, because if 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 the the spell of holding is any time you can pull it out of hammer space at any time, then that would just be a convenient wallet. Once we have something better, a better place to put, you know, rations and stuff. Yeah, action. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, bag of holding and this chest are action to use, so, like, technically action to use. I've never seen anyone use bag of holding as an action to use. Yeah, no. Like, well, it'd, it'd be the same as. Like, I would just. Like, what are you gonna. It depends on what you're pulling out of it, but yeah, no, if you're pulling out, like, a potion or whatever, I'd, that'd be fine, because yeah. you'd probably be able to use it. But, like, for weapons and stuff, just use the rule of action to. I think the idea is that, like, the bag of holding, so. you're supposed to stick your hand in there and then summon something yeah. out of the bag. But I've also heard the interpretation of it's just a really big hole, so you have to put your arm in there and kind of root around for it. Yeah. Both of those would take an right. action, but... Meh. I appreciate it. usually doesn't come up because you pretty much carry the actual important things to interact with on your person anyway. Mm -hmm. so, so could we... Uh, we'll are we all putting... Yeah, how much money? In here? Is that what we're doing? No, I think uh, I think at the moment keeping everything separate makes oh. sense. I'm just saying that once we have more long term storage options. Chest of booty. Yeah, we yeah. could turn it into just 
a, a, a cash box. Yeah. How much uh, money did we get? It's 400 each. Cool, thank you. We did the math. We did the monster uh, math. The monster math. That's a high school math teacher. No, it was a mathematical math. Bash. It's not like a thing in the 70s, too. Yo, that was so mathematical. No, that's Adventure Time. Oh, that was literally Adventure Time. Is that Adventure Time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was just, um... mathematical. Do I have it? No, okay. Okay, one sec. I'm just going to. Although it should be. Uh, 5e. Also, just so you know, uh, Noah, I, I took the gift of the metallic dragon, but it's actually the gift of the angels. You're only allowed to take it if it's metallic angels. Fucking, yeah, that, that's fine with me. Metal yo, Angelmon. When are you going to give your construct wing? Give it jetpack. Jets. Fuck, supposed to find that? You can give it fly. You can cast fly on it. No, I can't. Not if I'm concentrating on. I can cast fly on it. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure the construct is concentration, right? Mm -hmm. But that's true. Someone else can cast it. Everyone's oh. turning into a robot. Boots of flying. You can give it boots of flying. Okay, boom. Give it a broom. <laughs> Not, not a magical broom, just a regular broom. Make it act like it's flying. Like a horse head. Smack you upside the head with a, a broom as its attack. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, next day, wake up from generic uh, in.jpg. They're going like... to. Um. Rocks. What if, how can it be generic? What if I want to study the woodworks of the, the floor? It's made of stone. Damn it. Granite. Literally. Maybe. Different kinds of stone. But for your trip to Savathalus, I will take a survival check to see just how long it will take. Even if you roll pretty low. Inspiration. Stone that big of a deal. I'm not doing it because yeah. we're not going through the mountains. This is true. So my survival is just bad. Okay. Too. Okay, I assume Druid? Druid's is Druid. probably highest given he's got a plus five. To... Yeah. Also, do you get inspiration? Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds. Ow. Ow. It's been longer than two seconds. Three seconds. Four seconds. Wait, what's your roller roll? Oh, yeah. Listen, I I am I'm, I'm trying not to jump up eight eight steps of stairs at a time <laughs> with a cup of hot tea in my hand. Oh yeah, you have you can just go anywhere and still talk. Got it. Yeah, it's I I, I my headset's like an Ava unit. It has a, a three kilometer USB cord, and then after that it dies. Mm. Survival, it seems, right? With your D eight inspiration now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Don't worry, you got it. You're good. Yeah, no, uh, six is health, actually though. 14. I was gonna so. say, it's actually 14 and no uh, crit fails, so that's actually like good enough to get the uh, average amount of time, which will. Um, just take you, let me frickin' go and scroll up on my thing. Take from, oh, I'm also gonna do this. Yep, and clear sky, so easy walking, and it would take you roughly, fucking hell, where do I have this written down? Oh, right there. Take you about, like, 10 hours uh, getting out and then uh, going through the forest along the uh, at front edge of the mountain until you get to Savathalas and I will make a roll. Oh my, what's 
this. Uh, And you um, make a perception check. I can. I have perception, even. I was going to say, I'm three. assuming it's going to be you anyways, but it could be anyone. I'd take two, probably. Two? Not that it'll matter with the roll you don't that need good. You don't need inspiration. So. Um, uh, perception? Oh, sure, why not? Let's see if my eyes are good. My eyes are fine. I can see something. You can see. Um, you wouldn't notice it, but Kel would just notice in the back there is uh, actually uh, awakened trees walking around, but they don't seem to really have taken notice of you. They were quite far away. You can just sort of see the forest moving in the background, but with your knowledge of druids and or your knowledge of druid craft. And that level of perception, you can tell exactly what they are. That's definitely something that you would find out. But they didn't seem interested in you, so you guys do make it um, without any sort of. So incident. I'll just, uh, Kel will just do like the David Attenborough, uh, you know, nature doc. Nature, and nature here doc. in the distance, we see the wild awake tree, which is, <laughs> I would say, um, here we would see the trees. It definitely would be like unusual, but not super weird or anything. Yeah, it's just like, so is it, are these look more like, uh, as dumb as this sentence is going to be, so bear with me. There's a bear with you? Do they look feral or recently awakened? Um,. Make an insight. Sure. Right or wisdom or coffee. nature, whichever. Uh, well, one is trained and the other one is untrained, but with a higher number. What do you mean? Because That's insight, funny. I assume, is uh, trained. But no, it's charisma, isn't it? Or no, no insight's it's, whiz. It's, right. Insight's whiz, nature's int. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah, right. right. I think it makes what sense. You, which would you prefer? Probably nature in this case. Since cool, great. Not... Hitting the button. Cool. They're <laughs> hard to read. <laughs> um, no, you'll... Yeah, they're hard you... to read because they haven't been turned into a book yet. Nice. Field, field tree, man. Um, you'd probably assume they don't look like they're, like, feral or destructive right now, but... They also, it is still weird to just notice them. You know that usually they just kind of keep to themselves and chill. So something's definitely sort of disturbed them. Hmm. Are these just just awakened trees, or are they actually like tree ants? Like, oh, that's creatures. Pretty sure that's what just what an awakened tree is. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought there was more than one type of tree ant. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have no idea. I didn't think so, but. I only have a cursory look through. Tree ants. Oh, yeah, no, there's, yeah, there's specifically tree ants. Um, where nope. are they? They are literally the same. <laughs> Just no <they're> different. <laughs> yeah, so tree ants is what they're called in the monster manual. Yeah. And. The wording is slightly different, but AC, hit points, class, stats, like... Similar creatures. Yeah, literally, when the tree remains motionless, it is indistinguishable from a normal tree. When the tree ant remains motionless, <laughs> it is indistinguishable from a normal tree. <laughs> um, interest, interestingly, they... No, I think, I think that's the only difference... But interestingly, the tree imp specifically says environment, forest. The tree does not. We could plant a tree anywhere. That's hilarious. Or sorry, I guess I should be specific, and you would have actually seen a tree imp with them. I forgot that that's a difference. Their awakened tree is significantly, like, more, like, just sort of stupid tree. The animated tree is what is the same as a tree imp. Mm. Oh, okay. Long um, story short, no matter what, the, the awakened tree is just a tree moving around. 
the Lorax will be fine with it. Shepard. Well, these are, so these are the dumber kinds? Or these there was these? mostly the dumber kind, but you definitely would have seen the Atrian. Oh, okay. there. Shepherd. Wait, you say dumber kind, but don't awaken trees have like eight intelligence? Ten. They are actually quite, uh. Yeah. Quite intelligent. They're just a tree. But they're better than a tree. They're not as good as tree ants. No. But they still have. Okay. Intelligence. Which is. Uh, is there someone in the party with less than ten intelligence? Wait! Hey, that we're calling Noah. a dumb tree? They can just what? talk. Oh, yeah. yeah but, we're not, but we're not. <laughs> we're not trying to talk to them. We're not talking to them. We're not talking to them. Oh, awakened trees can't talk. Or well, one language I'm... known by its creator. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then treants <laughs> or animated trees can. Oh, that's so. That's interesting. So we were discussing that treant and animated tree have almost identical stat blocks. Just yeah, they refer to tree. But the animated tree, I just noticed one. There's two big differences I can see. And one of them is understands common druidic, elvish, and sylvan, but can't speak. Whereas a treant just has all the languages listed. Oh, so it can't speak. It can so understand. So the treant it. can. Yep. But that's. I did not notice that before. Oh well. Um, the, we're, we're not even. Or are we, are we trying to approach these trees? So, what, I mean, you could. I would say specifically, I did mean to change the awakened trees in the sense will actually not have a 10 of an, and 10 intelligence but they would be uh they'd be sentient for sure but they wouldn't be a 10 that's smart they're like i will i have the i'll just have they're not a gossiping in a condor right no they are not the treant might be or the animated tree because there is i i would prefer to use actually treant because uh, I find it stupid that they, why the animated tree can't speak, since they're actually intelligent. No, it's because it's just a tree. It doesn't grow a mouth. They use the same picture, which very clearly has a mouth. <laughs> oh, well. But that could also just be 5e tools. I know that um, in the case of like animated things, it's just the thing, but now it has but, sentience. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it... There is then the tree and I'm actually using one for one there. You'd see a tree and, and a group of trees, and as much as you can get from the nature check was, um, you can tell it's sort of unusual, especially because they would definitely like, probably just be moving out at night or just don't really care, don't move that often, and it's weird to see them out and about, and they've clearly been disturbed by something, but, meh. Do they look hostile or no? Uh, I'd say with 13, you can't really tell. They're also, like, pretty can't far tell. away. Like, to, like, what is a hostile tree like? Yeah. I don't know, smacking <laughs> other trees around, like... <laughs> and holding a branch. Yeah, like, arr, He's got a gun! Branches in the air, like, it's yeah. holding a, a branch menacingly. <laughs> you saw him? He reached for his branch. <laughs> Yo, fucking, he reached for his branch. I'd take out my sword. I'm so they're trees. Does they're someone trees. have a torch? Let's burn them. Fuck them. Um with I would say I would say you don't care about the forest, you care about the stars. You're not allowed to intervene on this. <laughs> oh shit. I would say with a thirteen you would you would know that um treants and them are generally uh, chaotic good. But that's not like not always a guarantee if they think you're a threat or something. Not but... indicative of final product. Yeah, like, yeah, like if you burn down the that burn them, if you burn enough of them, they become kind of like a star because stars are on fire. Oof. Trees will be on fire eventually. Anyways, I guess so. Actually, here's a way to say it out of game. You know they're chaotic good, but you also know they have a red bordered token. Ah, uh, I see. I see. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Not indicative of final product. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, so you probably ignore them for now? Yeah, so long as they're not wrecking shit, we can just ignore them. They're not they're not meant to be they're trees. Killed. Oh, no. I mean, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, lumberjack. <laughs> uh, where am I? So
so I'm a lumberjack. What's that song? I'm okay. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Oh, are you now? Uh, yeah, we well, we'll keep going if the party right. do then. So keep, keep going, going, and I actually have to make an additional roll because something else happened. Um, I need to check what a definition is because remembering all the shit is hard. Um, as you walk along, you enter an area where you see a hill at the center of, like, a clearing in the forest. And very specifically, uh, Nile feels um, must make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Nile must fail a wisdom saving throw, because that's how 5e does saving throws. If you save, I swear to God. You saved. Literally, I swear to God. Definitely saved. I swear to um, God. Where's the swearing? So you save, and you still you feel a distinct urge to leave this area. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the party because I am not going to leave something. That I will say, um, overall, there's actually, uh, you can go up to it. There's a uh, no encounter here. And the hill isn't unique, but you could try and look into what is making you feel this way. Sorry, what? What? Why exactly are you said that there's nothing here? We don't need to go here. Then why are we here? There, you just have that feeling. Um, there is no monsters that come out, but you could look into why. I you had that don't feeling. Care. I have a job. Yeah, so you can just continue on, but it's yeah. very curious that there was definitely some sort of effect. You don't, you don't want to That might cause it in the it? chat. I don't see a reason to. We're doing a job. Let's just go. Does it affect anybody else? No. Nope. same way... Oh, okay. Um, someone sure. could potentially make a free Arcana check if they are curious. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely make an Arcana check on that. Just to take a look around. Uh, okay. 10 is not good enough to tell. That's unfortunate. Oh well, we can go. We can keep going then. Uh, if yep. Nile says it's fine, Nile says it's fine. I just don't see. So I take to one other one, and then that would be it potentially. Fine. But if, no. no. Nice. Okay. Then you mm. shall continue on. This magic is made of magic. Of Moving on. Get God. Okay. Then you can pass on. And you will come up again at the regular timing at Sabbath Alice, which I do have drawn out here and can drag you to. And you can all... Uh... So, uh, very specifically, and I all right, I have to log into that thing because I haven't yet, so I can pull up the numbers of what uh, this actually means. Is that your dad talking magic in the background? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I wish I had a dad. <laughs> nice. Oof, yeah. Hmm. Bonk. It's a joke, but it's not a joke. It's fine. I have a dad and two moms. Is that, is that good? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Great, dude. Great. Like three times more than me. So where you guys would be headed would be number nine, is the magic shop. Okay. Um, for the other numbers and points of interest, I'll just sort of read them out. Uh, so on them, all the maps I have at H is just sort of where the default in is, unless you guys like, unless there's a specific reason to go to a specific in, that is where I would just say you can always find one that at H is on the map. One is a temple of some kind dedicated to uh, woodland spirits. Uh, two is a herbalist. Three is a magical scroll shop. Four is an alchemy shop. Um, five is a fountain with a dedication to Ilaria, much like the uh, statues 
of um, other people you've seen, notably on the uh, at Ingvek on the mountain. Six is the terrace of the moon. That is where you can where moon enchanted weapons can be upgraded or changed. Notably, where Cecilia's sword was created. Seven oh. is the Griffin taxi roost, which is currently out of service because most of their griffins are grounded because they don't want them to get shot or damaged by freaking undead roaming the island and most of them were actually off the island getting people at the time uh, number eight in the bottom left corner is the druids guild and as mentioned number nine is the magical emporium i'm guessing magical emporium also sells like generic magic items yep so yeah. Yeah, we'll go there. We can explore the other places after we deal with this. We also could buy magic items. We got potential gold. We buy do it. have potential gold. Mm hmm. And also functioning well. Isabel, you there? Yeah. Okay. Um, because there's your where your sword was created is nearby. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure my character is probably aware of that. Yeah. Considering that's where you would have picked it up from. No, I got it back from- I got it from Lobelia, didn't I? No, you got it from, uh, Ilaria. Hmm. The elf lady. Also, I was wondering why our tokens were already somehow here, and then I saw the snowman at the bottom right. <laughs> yeah. Now, I have one map that I just use for, like, showing like, the cities. Makes sense. Fair. Um, just to drag you here, and I just replace whatever the background image is, because they're all the same. I kept them the same. Want to delete yeah. your your snowman off of the layer? It's melted. Oh. Or make it bigger. Oh god. Oh god. Monster. <laughs> it's a very melted snowman. Oh god, it's a titan. <laughs> anyway, roll for it. <laughs> 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 hey, can you send a list of what the different numbers mean? Just a bit. Uh, yep, I have the uh, list literally written. So ah, awesome. nice. Boy. I but that in that case, yeah, I think uh, our priority is to go to nine first. Or is it the end of the day? Uh yeah, it's not the end of the day. It's like mid afternoon. Okay, then yeah, our, like our mid, top priority afternoon. before dinner would be to to go to see um uh, her name was Evelyn of the Magic Correct. Shop. Yeah. Ding dong. <clears throat> Ding dong. But it's trees and leaves, so it's like whoosh. Oh, there's no doorbell. We just say ding dong out loud. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> right at the you door. Don't have to. Ding dong. Ding dong. Or you don't have to knock the leaves. You can just come in. You don't have to <laughs> knock. <laughs> Quinn enters. Ding dong. Ah, uh, so when you jumped in, you'd see a very like. You first thing you'd probably notice is that there is a little small ooze going along the floor, cleaning up the do mopping. It says yeah, tiny, it's a small trim behind it. This. A tiny baby, the gel gelatinous goo. And you see a very large assortment of mostly common trinkets and other things, but. You see towards the back and more towards where the shopkeeper is, more exotic looking items and more very much more expensive looking items that are lined up around the back. And then you see the shopkeeper who is a half orc and is covered in tattoos. Nice, nice tats, bro. Shopkeeper is an okay. Shopkeeper is a female. <laughs> nice task. But she would absolutely still be like, thank you. I used to use them mostly for magical reasons, but I always made sure to get them permanently done as well. Rad. If you would like them, I can I can give you some. Like the magical kind too? Both kinds. Oh. So yes, she can 
do magical tattoos. Tattoo needles on my scaly skin. Do you like do it on your eyeball or something? I oh god, I think it would. Those are real. I think on you, it would have to be a magical tattoo. Although I could have one that just is magical in the sense that it that it applies to you, but it doesn't do anything. Right, like a just a magical tattoo. Because the literal the magical tattoos are literally like you get tapped with a needle and then they just appear, right? Yeah, that is what they do. Yeah. I thought you actually got the tattoo. Nah, it's like a insta. No, but uh, the character that did it in my campaign would do it for you if you wanted. Yeah, that's why Haru has real, real tattoo. Real last tattoo. So it's the exact same with Evelyn. She will do a real tattoo, and also can do magical tattoos, or will do a quote-unquote real magical tattoo that has no effect other than get around Mark's stupid skin. <laughs> I mean, now stupid skin. Real fake tattoos. Um. Great, and all, I think we should probably talk about the reason why we're actually here before we. Yes, that's correct. Um, you said that there was something that. No, sorry, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, oh, you must be the ones Lobelia sent. That's that's correct. I was yes. wondering where you, how you all climbed out of the woodwork, and I didn't. I recognize you, I believe, and she would uh sort of look pointedly at Cecilia, but I didn't recognize anyone else. We're um, not really we're... from around here, so... No, exactly. But we're a party. We're a party of adventurers now. Unofficially, we just came here out of necessity. I of guess time. you're somewhat limited in your adventures to the island now, though, eh? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Well. It'll be. Yeah, it seems like it'll be more than a handful. Oh yes, there's a lot to do. So Lots you of... are here about my. I requested Lobelia to send you to help find my latest shipment. Uh, it was cleared. I was notified a week and a half ago, or so, that it had cleared through. Customs at Pike Landing, Pike's Landing, and should be on its way, but I never received it. Mm. And I know times are pretty crazy right now, but if there hadn't been any complications, it definitely should have been here by now. There have been complications in everywhere in the island, you know, with the whole undead apocalypse. You know. Yes. There's been quite the level of complications. So I wouldn't be surprised if something would happen to it. So, hopefully, I would like you to find it. And I will give you my... I find I don't have as much need for it now that I don't go adventuring anymore. But I would be willing to part with this bag of holding, which you okay. can also use to pick up the items and bring them back to me. If you lack a caravan or the box, or especially if the boxes have been compromised in any way. Yo, a Yo. super intricate fetch quest. Let's go. Yo, we're using the Will there fetch. There be an escort as well. No, oh, no, oh, thank God. I need you to go update all of those, the radio those, codes. That caravan, everyone, that caravan, super dead. No need to escort. <laughs> Perfect. Just letting you know, lady, apparently they're all dead. I just heard it from a weird voice in my head. <laughs> oh, weird. I heard it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know head. any of them. Um, and, I mean, you can use it for your own purposes during that time as well, but you'll probably need quite a bit of space in it for the goods. Oh, yes, of course. Well... We should get onto it as soon as possible, but I think... Didn't we ask about the artifact he found in the desert before going there? Doing a job for him? Hmm? The, the orb, the black orb? Yes. In the That's in the... Desert That's somebody person. else. Different That's person. a different Real? person. Different yeah. city. Entirely different person. Uh, did I write his name? Uh, Zerus. Zerus. Yeah. What year is it? 
So this is Evelyn, and then there was a dude from Mas Mysterious Obsidian Orb, uh, Bizarre Owner, Zerus. Um. Wait, wait, why are we here again? <laughs> Bag of holding. Um, we, holding we were told by help. a little... Yeah. Right. The bit that she requested. I, I just thought we were going to get the, uh, talk to the Bizarre guy first. I guess I can no, no, no. We are going we were... now, basically. Although she would mention, well, you're more than welcome to take a look at everything, anything you would like here. I will Obviously, definitely I'd still take a charge look. You, I will also but... definitely welcome. Um, so, uh, her stock actually is kind of like. She pretty much, if there's a common item, you could like name it, and she would have it. Very, but. Unfortunately, one. my rare magic item has been a bit depleted of late. I was really hoping on that shipment to come for more useful ones. Um, but if you look through, um, can I copy and paste this list nicely? Or do I have to? It's actually just pretty much random items. I will just screenshot the automatically generated list. I cannot see because of the color of the text. <laughs> well, you'll have to click on it and look at the full version anyway. Is this an all she has? Yeah. Nah, oh, like, again, she'd have pretty much any common item, but this is all she has of common or higher. You're literally willing to give us winged boots? Fuck yes! Moron of a DM. No, it's just, you could, hey, <laughs> hey, winged boots speaks confidence. Mm. Winged boots. That's an overpowered magic item. I mean, Cecilia's already got flying. True. Mm. Like, are, are the wing boots just the thing that give you like uh, flying for like an hour or something? No, yeah. Like speed you equals your walking speed, and I think uh, Valahar had them. Had limitations. Yeah. I think there's a limitation on how you can't literally fly for like a day straight. There, there are limitations. Limitation of that, but I like, thought it was four hours. Reality, four full hours every. Yeah, yeah it is four hours. Or no, four four hours, and you get two hours back every twelve hours. Max. Yeah. Okay. So it's but like that's so. Meh. Doesn't yeah. matter. Because I already fly. Yeah, like that part of it, the long term flying doesn't matter because Cecilia can do that anyway, but. It, Flying boots are pretty powerful, but they're also expensive. How expensive uh, no, they are they? Yes, they Unless are. you're using the same magic items list, they aren't. Pretty sure I'm using the same. Okay. Super Saiyan or the regular Saiyan? They are listed at um, 8,000. <laughs> yeah, that's Saiyan. <laughs> we don't have 8, that many. It's, it's, yeah, it's weird that like there's... Um, so many I'm pretty sure their literally... their default price is like five hundred to one thousand. Like it's, it's because it's just a rare, or it's yeah, no, it's just an, like, it's uncommon. Yeah, so no, I was I, I was about to correct myself, but yeah, it's because it's that. Let's see. But yes, I am using relatively sane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dragon Slayer Scimitar. Oh, Wait. Uh, it'd be interesting. You're looking at that with uh, your choice of companion. <laughs> yeah, I want to slay him. I saw the rows of useful items and I remembered. Oh yeah, this is not the one Nami has. This one's the limited one. The worst one. That is the only item. Uh, is one of the very few items I would probably change the uh, cost on. How much does it cost? To me, it seems unless there's like. I don't see a good reason why it's supposed to cost, um... Which item? The robe of useful items. Like, I guess it depends on what, like, items are in, but this list lists it as 30,000. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. what? 30,000? I'm pretty sure the reasoning for it would be that, like, it's infinite money. <laughs> But it's not. Not really. I don't think you're gonna get 30,000 in... Worth of mayonnaise. Yeah. 
Yeah, at 30,000 worth of items that have like a max of what? 10 gold, was it's it? It's not infinite, Isabel. The Room of Useful Items only has 44 items on it. Oh. Yeah. It's not infinite either. The, the one that that being said, it could literally have 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, 1,600 gold on it. Yeah, I was gonna say. But, uh, no. Yeah, but that's, that that's awful. What the fuck would... 30,000 to get 1,000 back? Like, what? Oh, yeah. sorry, the silver coffer's worth 500, and you could have uh, 16 of those. So that's it'd be 8k. That's 8k. The thing that's so stupid about it is, is the items, like the iron door and the window. If you guys don't know what they do, it's you can put a door on any surface. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I bet, because that's like... So it's a, a make a door thing. Make yeah, it literally door. says you put a door on a surface and it conforms to fit an opening. That's actually the equivalent of like a fourth level spell. So that's it's fine. What item is this? The it's the probe of useful items. The the one is though. So the thing with the iron doors, it specifically needs to be placed in an opening. In an opening, but yeah, the window the doesn't. Thing. The yeah. window you just put on a surface, and there's now a window on that surface, which is ridiculous. Wait, couldn't you the put window the window and there. then the door? Uh, no, because the window is filled the opening. You can break the window. Break the window. <laughs> I guess you could do that and then put a door on it. Why? So that you can go through. But you can, you can go through the with the fucking window. <laughs> oh, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> you were put the window on the inside <laughs> of a submerged vehicle. Ooh, submarine. What oh, happens? and sorry, well, sorry. The highest gold thing you can get is ten gems worth one one hundred gold, so sixteen thousand gold, which is still half the price. But the fact that it can make doors yeah, makes it the equivalent of a fourth a level weird. spell. Mm -hmm. So like, it's worth it already. I guess it's. You can also just put it up a pit on the ground. Oh, so good. And put. But how big of an opening does it make? Pit? The pit is ten feet on each side. The window is two by four by two. Yeah, the okay. iron door. How much and yeah, it's it? not it's not technically an opening to anything. It's an opening that can fit that dimension. Yeah, but uh, I mean, there's not many walls that are more than two feet deep. That's that's fair, I guess. I think. And if it is more than two feet deep, you can just put a pit on it. Yeah. Also, I think I'm pretty. I don't know how Noah's doing this, but I'm pretty sure if we do his job, their job, and come back with the goods that she she ordered, her stock would expand, so we get more items to choose from. I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, yeah, she'll her definitely have more items. My, my stock would definitely expand, and on top of that, I believe I would be willing to part with a handful of the items from the stock that I will receive. Hint, hint. I will have to choose, of course, but. Oh. It will be. It will not Three. be the cheapest things. I can promise you that. Three items. So yeah, I guess we should probably uh, uh go do that and then come back and we get our stuff. We can do actual shopping here. Oh yeah. yeah Better yeah, we'll shopping. That. that makes sense. We could. We could also check out the other places as well before we go. Um, yes. Well, you could go uh check out my uh husband is currently working at counter of the scroll shop if you wanted to go there and yeah. they can actually do scrolls pretty much on demand although you'd have to give some time do you know the route of the cart that would have taken for of the... the delivery no i wouldn't happen to know you would have to visit the uh it would probably be best to go to the customs house in pike's landing and then figure out where or what company picked up the delivery, because I was I am not aware of that. I just ordered it for here. I only know who delivered it to the island, and a separate company usually handles local deliveries. There's a handful of them, and then once you know the company that handled the delivery, you'll probably have to go to them for the specific path so... and uh, schedule. More walking. Mike's landing to find out the delivery company, find the delivery company to find the 
all of the yeah like you'll just area. have to go ask a couple different people in the same city so it won't actually take mm -hmm. a long ass time yeah um, yeah, Excellent. We... Oh, and I would also recommend the uh, potion shop. It usually has a pretty good selection. Potions are and always nice. Always has a... I mean, even if you're not looking to spend too much money, having potions of healing is always helpful. Yeah, potions of healing are very nice. Honestly, never like the taste of them. A little too much battery acid. My oh, taste. it's blood. I always just... Anyways, we'll get going now. Goodbye. We'll be back with good news. I'm sure of it. We will. Try. Yes. Well, yeah. I hope to see you again, and I hope you're carrying my shit. <laughs> I hope you have to get my shit back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, I'm dumb. Hi, dumb. No, 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 no. I also looked at that. I'm like, what? I'm like, did oh, we yeah. wanna? Did I we would wanna be able to. to I would be able. Would I? Be, I would be able to ask about the thing here, or probably. Okay. Probably might not give you a whole lot of information though. But could also just ask about any sort of druid-related stuff. So yeah, there's the scroll shop and the. <laughs> Uh, potion shop. Uh, scrolls have a very. I'm pretty sure scrolls have a fixed cost for each level, right? Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Reduced. Yeah. Um, because I just wrote that they do a 25% uh, surcharge. Um, I kind of want find familiar, but like. It's just funny. It's a first level spell, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Won't cast too much. Let's see. Yeah, no, like they'll be. Just try. Um... Oh, wow, actually. Da da da. Weird. I'm trying to look at. Oh, DMG, page 182. Ugh. Where the heck did I put the stupid dumga? Oh, there it is. I'll just check that so I know what I'm doing. I was a bit light on this part. No, this is all items. This isn't downtime. You know, I have the list of what rarity they are, but not how much it costs. I think Sane Magic Items, the PDF, has the scrolls in there. Okay. I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty sure. Probably. I'm pretty sure they are, and I don't think their prices are changed. If they are changed, they're not much. Now that I accidentally closed it, it's taking forever to load. Lovely. Fuck me. What level spell scroll are we looking for? First? First? I'm pretty sure that's only like 50 gold. Yeah. 60. There you go. Cool, cool. So with a 25% markup. Yeah, 75, yeah, because that's 15. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, wait, can I make any, can he make, like, any scroll? Um, as long as I know the spell. Cool. Uh... Fuck. If I knew this. Familiar would definitely be one that uh they could make for you. No, no, I was just saying like, if 
uh, if I knew that, I would have picked my spells more according to that rather than anything else. I mean, that's fair. They do take uh, anything more than first level will not be available immediately, though. That's fine. I can order them now and pay for them later. Um, but I, I do they have Spirit Shroud? I assume they have Polymorph. Um, where is... they don't even come at me with they don't have Fireball Scrolls. Yeah, honestly. Fireball Scrolls. This is a this uh, lightning bolt household. Yeah. <laughs> you bring your fire spells into my good Christian fireball. Yeah, sitting, okay. sitting, sitting here with my fucking erupting earth. <laughs> Thing is, I guess it would make sense. Why would they have something related to fire when they're living a tree? Oh no, guys! Look, they use lightning bolt. Don't stand in a line. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Well, uh, stand so behind each other. I think. I think my favorite. Sh AOE shape is the cone because it's the most fucked. <laughs> nice. Cone of cold. Yeah. But... Uh, so if you did want to go there, you could have a chat and ask about those things. Yeah. I want to know if he has spirit shroud uh, and banishment. So you go into the shop. It's actually like a very relatively like small area. It would just be sort of a like a little more than like a counter yep. and like a large like large amounts of parchment rolled up but not really any that you can just grab off and it's manned by a very skinny uh half or male this is the first time that i'm it's able to shop for spells between levels <laughs> um, and you just, um, spirit you shroud is here to pick up an order or did you have oh i wanted to make an order oh okay well, um, have you been here before? I'm not. Has she? No, it depends. You probably know about this store, but it'd be up uh, to you whether or not. You we've never had any reason to do so. Probably not, because like they, you'd be ta taking classes. You might receive shipments from here, but you probably wouldn't buy them yourself. I've got my textbooks from here. Store. Yeah, probably. If you mention that you're like a student, that you were a student, it's like, well, Do they have a student you discount. Haven't. You probably, <laughs> well, not now they don't. <laughs> you probably would have received some of our scrolls and materials from here, but for the most part, uh, no, we don't have too many people come through anymore. So for it, depending on what kind of scroll you want, we have a very limited inventory of ready to go scrolls um, and for the most part those are just from people who didn't finish paying up and we mo mostly just make them to order and the and then you sort of mention actually here I'll you, I mean I'm more than willing to I think the let's see is this big enough to upload or small enough to upload I should say <laughs> oh yeah it's not even that big boom too bad I'm a sorcerer I can't learn spells like that if you maybe like shopping tape it to your head long enough you can learn <laughs> it through osmosis hmm Although I can uh, use them. Like, I can use. What if you inject yeah. them? Snort them oh, up. Just burn them into ash and then snort them. Yeah, people will snort <laughs> Um. And, well, uh, I actually am not. I can only do level one and two scrolls, but my master, mm -hmm. Treyborn, he's the one who does most of the scrolls. Um, I'm just studying under him at the moment. But he's not in shop at the moment. But if you make any orders, I would make, make sure it gets to them. Give me, give me a sec. So level some kind of newfangled way to describe magic. Tears. No. No. Yes. Shut up. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure wizards are like, yeah, this is a tier. I can only do like difficult spells up tiers. to this difficulty. Yeah. Basically, an easy way of saying, 
if you ask him to do a spell above they'll be like, I can't do that. I suck ass. Um, specifically, cantrips and cantrips take an hour to do. And then fra and then it's uh six and then it's six hours for a level one if they don't have it. And then twelve for a level two. And then a full day for a level three. And a full day on top of that for each additional level. Well, you see, scribing these scrolls would go a lot faster if they weren't, uh, it didn't use so much embellishment. I was going to say up to level six, and then after level six, it is a week, a week after, which I will write down. So, cantrip, one hour. What the fuck on the world is this return of the uncommon? Why it takes <laughs> I found a gift to show why it takes uh wizards so long to scribe scrolls. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. We have the written times of for squirrels for you. Oh. Of how much time it takes. Oh yeah, that doesn't matter. Like I was planning on ordering this and then coming back in like a week. Yeah. <laughs> or does it never come back? Also cantrips are on the list? You can get scrolls of cantrips. What do you mean? Uh oh, and here I'll also I'll add the gold price does on there too just for easy I just realized that I, so that I made I made a bad joke and then I didn't actually I didn't even link it in the right chat to <laughs> gamer okay. to 120 here why it takes a wizard so long to scribe a scroll now posted mm -hmm. in the correct channel there you uh, go SpongeBob get. nice Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to list the scroll cost just base and then just say to buy is 25% more. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Because that, the base cost will be like, if you want to make them yourself, just need to put that down. So there's that three is 200 four is 320 blaze it. Five is six forty. Six is oh well, now it's just doubling. Is it just gonna continue doing that? Probably. Yes. But I'm still gonna look at each one of them. Uh, eight. Yep. Also doubles. Yep. Double. Yep. Double. Hip. Flubble. Yep, pack. You did it. You did it, gun. True gamer. Easy peasy. Where'd my notes go? Um, pin this. And pin this. Boom. Um, so. Uh, oh, and also we require a 50% deposit up front. <laughs> That's the thing that makes it hard. <laughs> 200 and... Otherwise, you, you could also just go, Hey, I want 10 level 9 scrolls. I'll pay you when I get the money. I swear I'm good for it. No, but they don't... They still have the stock, right? Yeah, but who the... F they can't, don't exactly sell level. Three <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it takes them like a lot of time. Wait, but if they can cast level nine spells, the fuck are they running this magic store for? <laughs> also true. Uh, because 
I, uh, this is a, a anyway. Three twenty. I wanted to bring up, but. I'll go for it. Uh, I'm still doing my math. Oh uh, no! It was just people being like, because uh, it was somebody was you know pushing back against all of the you know cocky early adventuring party decides to you know attack tavern owner tavern owner decide ends up being you know a retired level 20 adventurer mm. so somebody is some you know absolute smooth brain in the comments was like well if there are retired level 20 adventurers in your world why aren't they the ones solving Doing the plot point so I would say Trey Treyborn, the leader, is actually like definitely someone who is actually powerful. Um, but he's literally fucking ancient. Yeah. He should probably be dead. Fair enough. Oh, this one's only third level. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh uh, once you send me a list, I'll let you know if they have any of those ones in stock. It is a, I just Spirit don't... Shroud and uh, Polymorph. Or Banishment. And Find Familiar. I don't think I can afford that too. But maybe. You want some money? Maybe. <laughs> How much money do you need? I don't know yet. I'm still doing the math. Uh, sorry, where's uh, third level is two hundred R slash. Uh, so two fifty. I don't think I need that much. I can afford it. <laughs> there you go. Nice. I can like just afford it. I couldn't. I could. I can't afford to copy them, but I can get them at least. <laughs> I mean, you'll probably get more. Uh, that would be an important thing too. This place can sell like those uh, school supplies, like magic shops, and like here as well can sell you what you need to copy. Yep. Uh. Well, the only real, like, good magic shop, I will say, is the one here. You're actually getting rare items. The other ones are all just sort of, like, gimmicks and, and like, things you need to do magic, but not really good magic shit. Spirit Shroud Polymorph Banishment. I have the money for half now. Uh, and those are, what's Spirit Shroud? Uh, Ghosts Help Me Hit Harder. It's a third level spell. The other two are fourth. Okay. Well, that would... That will take us five days to fulfill the order. I'll be back in a week or two. And yes, you can come back here and say, we'll hold it. Well, you will hold it for you, certainly. And at that... I also... So again, are you taking into account the surcharge or just the flat rate? The surcharge. Okay. That's why I needed to do the math, otherwise the numbers were easier. Because, yeah, for the level 3 one, that's 250. Um, and 320 is 400 each. So it's 1,050. Yep, yeah, but it's 250 for, for the upfront. For... Sorry, five fit twenty-five. Yeah, I was I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you all have you also need to have the money to pick them up. It's fine. Worst case scenario, I borrow the money. And we have another bank bank uh, session. Haha. Uh -huh. Six forty-nine. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna bet. I would love that. Just take the money from Nile later. Sure. Uh, spirit 
search round, banishment, and what was the last one? Uh, polymorph. Polymorph. I guess like, is there any spell that you guys want me to grab? Probably. I don't know. Cool, cool. I never think of something I'll let you know. Oh, I need another one. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, none of them are currently ready. Oh, it's fine. I can't afford them if they're currently ready. <laughs> also true. <laughs> Although I would say it would be, so actually what I will say... I heard there was a student discount. <laughs> Not particularly, we only do business through the school. But uh, we usually give a discount if we have the scroll ready, simply because someone's mm. usually already paid up front for it. Free up Sometimes the shelf space. For me, just during practice, but... Can I interest you? Well, no, probably not. Start making scrolls and then sell them back to them. Yeah, that's what I was like. Can I interest you in a trade? <laughs> If you can find a spell that Trayborn doesn't know already, maybe. The thought was basically like, I make the scroll for you, you make a scroll for me. It doesn't cost you any additional time, so long as they're at the same level. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's what he said it would be. I suppose if you found something that he didn't already know. But he like, looked you up and down. That seems unlikely. Damn. Tried two for one. Doesn't like actually seem to be like. It's more made in like an oblivious sense of he doesn't really understand that he basically just insulted you. But just that literally doesn't think that you have that. Just thinks highly enough of the other guy. You don't much. have the technology. Less a dig at you, more uh, speaking praise. I fucking know gate. <laughs> I can't cast it, but like I know it. Once, cause of your subclass. No, cause of the book. Or, oh right, cause yeah, 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 right. The book that you like, yeah, the item you chose. Yes. Indeed. But, like uh, the eighth level spell gate. The ninth level spell gate. Nice. Yeah, nice. It's in my spell book. I can't cast it. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's in the book. Um, that's actually something. So, actually, does it specifically say you can only copy spells that you can cast? Yeah, you have to. Basically, like the way that I've always interpreted it is that, like, in order to copy it into your book, you have to cast it into your book, and then the other way around too. Right. You have to cast it from your book into the scroll. Yeah. <laughs> That makes sense. So, with uh, that done, uh, do I pin that message or did I just write it? I did not. So there, I'll pin that. So that's also in our list of messages uh, that are pinned and happy. Um, and that'll pretty much conclude that, unless someone has any other thoughts. But there's the potion shop that you could uh, stop by as well. But... I mean, my big interest is uh well obviously the truth's guild but yeah um you could make a stop there if uh you would like i i, I would and, oh wait uh, no i i i for bulk <laughs> tree wood <laughs> but the, so before that did anyone want to go to the potion shop so you can get all the shopping out of the way Yay. Yes. I don't know what I want, but I want to look. I want to browse. I want to look back. Okay. I browse. Well, <laughs> I 
also will have to pull up to see what things they have. I think there's, is it on 5e tools? I feel like it was on 5e tools. Oh no, I made, no, I made one. Okay. I made one bit copied from someone else. I'm gonna browse, I browse. So, uh, the potion shop is, do I have like someone special listed for this or someone noteworthy? Or is it just alchemist.png? Alchemist.data expunged. Yeah, this is just alchemist.data file, so the um, shopkeeper would greet you and welcome you in, but is otherwise a very generic person. Probably just a, you know, a cashier working their 9 to 5 job. Well, the actual, tad, uh, tad Strange. Tad nah. The son of Doc Pitt. No, I mean the, the the no the guy from Gravity Falls, the completely oh, yeah, normal yeah. man from Gravity Falls. Oh yeah, him. Um, so in terms of potions, you will see. Uh, I don't. I think is healing potion the only potion that's actually common. I believe so. I'm just gonna double check that. No, quick. I think there's a few other common ones. They have different rarities. Potion of climbing is common. Yeah, they they have different rarities. Like I think the common ones are like first level spells, more or less. Potion five tools. The four... Climbing, comprehension, healing, and watchful rest. Nice. Yeah. Oh, also, I have catnap now, so we can basically short rest whenever we want. Takes ten minutes. Yeah. It's only three people, right? I think it's three or four, including you. One person left out to have to watch. And they are unconscious. <laughs> three willing, three willing. So those are the only four, uh... So those four, no, I'd say those four are guaranteed to be there, and there is at least five of each. Um... There is actually 10 potions of healing. The other special potions that you find are... Um, now I need to grab dice. You find... Is one, of them, is one of them just Slurm? Yes. There, Slurm's Mackenzie is actually at the counter. Oh. <laughs> you Hell find yeah. six potions of greater healing are on the racks ready. Um, there is a potion of mind reading. <laughs> um, and I need to. Okay, let's roll a this thing. A potion of acid resistance. Oh wait. Any lightning resistance? Um, a potion of water, uh, a breathing because I misspelled breathing. Perfect. Uh, and a potion of vitality. So I say, well, this is what we have right now. Um, we haven't really made anything too recent. You could uh, commission a potion if we have the ingredients, but it does take us quite a while. We are a small shop. We mostly just focus on the uh, common potion. I think like the supreme healing potion takes a year to make, yeah. or something crazy like that. I assume they don't have any. They do not. Water breathing. It's discount water breathing. It, you can breathe in water, but you can't only breathe in water. <laughs> uh. I just grab some potions of healing, honestly. Yeah. I mean, that's the good shit. I think they're 50 each. Yeah, 50 each. When you make them yourself, it's 25. I don't know how to make them myself, so buying them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and there was uh, greater healing as well, which is 150. Yeah. How much is the greater? 100? There are 150, and there is. Uh, Six of them, I think, I saved. 
See, I would have bought a potion of healing, but I did just get a feat that allows me to cast cure wounds, so I'm okay. Yeah. You're kind of like, this is I. I can I can cast cure wounds. This is just for me to stay blocked. I was gonna say, oh, that's fair. Thoughts, it's also for the people who can't. Yourself. Yeah, I can just buy this. I'll follow can. that. I'm following that sort of deal. Bonus action, chuck yourself. That's that's very fair, actually. That's fair. Master. Um, no, you're right. I think I think she'll still buy one greater healing. Yeah. Okay. So she'll um, do that. One fifty. Uh, I think every single person who cannot heal on their own should at least have a mini one on them, and so I will also buy one. It's just a 50, right, for the normal one? For the normal yeah. ones, yep, just 50. In that case, she's gonna buy a, a normal one and and uh, walk up to Nile and then just stuff it in his pocket somewhere. Tell me where the pocket is on Nile's art. Like, in his yeah, belt. There's a special... <laughs> a belt. Uh, like, he has a belt. You could tuck it, you could tuck it into uh, the belt. You can put it into the fuzz. Just just where the familiars show up, put it in there too. Yeah, she'll, she'll tie it to your beard. Uh, I feel like that'll break. Well, if, I mean, if she, if, you, if, she lets, if you let her, she'll... she'll it's a lesser there. healing potion? Yeah, like a common one on her, on him. So that he has one. Filter of love. I love those, they're so weird. That is, uh, that is on my, uh, potential table. Uh, potion of, uh, commissioning a potion of invulnerability could be useful. Resistance to all damage. Give it to You have, uh, if you have the money to do it, commissioning um, is more expensive than even just buying it. I mean, that makes sense. Well, I don't it really would. need this now, I'm probably just... This potion is probably just going to be given to somebody else, so I'm just going to buy the potion. Yeah, just buy uh, some, uh, just however much you want, like potions of healing especially. Definitely, like, unless you're literally, everyone's buying all of them, there's enough guess, to go like, around. For now it would be like, three normal potions, one greater, so 300. Did yep. you say Our there was only five of the other ones? Is it in the, uh, uh the thing? Can I just drag it? I think you can. Uh, potion of healing, yes, but nothing higher than that. Not the greater or more. I mean, that's what you gave me, right? That's correct. I gave you the normal one. Cool. Easy peasy. We be waiting where it was. Oh, my spider. Oh, God. The <laughs> slurm of Mackenzie. We be waiting where it was. Um, okay. So, if uh, anyone else want to buy any of those, you know, mediocre usefulness potions, go ahead. Um... Oh, if there's anything you want to ask about commissioning in general, I have like commissioning for potions and scrolls at a 25% markup. Both yeah. of them for like whatever it base is. So I look, I look to my, I told, I asked myself, what, what in the world is the staff of healing? Is exactly what it does. It's a staff that heals. <laughs> I think it also brings people back from the dead. Uh, I don't remember if it has resurrection. Cure wounds, lesser restoration, cure, mass cure wounds. No. Okay. So okay. We'll revivify. Does the other lady have it? <laughs> Does the magic lady have the? I want. Have Ready? what? A staff of healing. Uh no, that's not one of the items that was listed. Fair. Uh, this could be in the supply. Uh, yeah, just three potions of healing. One greater healing on me. Yep. Uh, perfect. So and then um, next would be the adventure of Kel. To Aha! The, uh, druid. Oh ho! Conclave, or whatever the hell they're called. I think conclave is like the right word. I was gonna say I feel like that's a that's a word that sounds cool enough for druids. The conclave. Don Chuddle. Don Chuddle. The Enclave. They're all wearing power armor. Power Rangers? What? Who is this? Soldier, yeah, why is your. Kick your fucking ass. <laughs> why is your video feed not working? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, the enclave from the original Fallout games are so fucking dumb. But if they're wearing power armor, they can't be druids because druids can't wear metal. Hey, hey, power armor can be. Yeah. It's made of carapace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made from bugs. Bug skin, not bark skin. They do the, the, all they do there is they cast a giant insect, kill the insects, <laughs> and then make the armor. Oh my Anyways. god. Anyways. So you're more than welcome to uh, go in. And, uh, knock, knock, knock. Ding dong. Hey. You walk in, there doesn't seem to be any sort of formal uh, setup or like, you know, welcome desk. But if you like sat there staying long enough to be one out and drew it off the side, I'd be like, uh, you're looking sort of expectant of something. Was there something you needed? Uh, information. Interesting. I can see that you're a druid yourself, so you are also obviously more than welcome here. And so are your friends, assuming if anyone followed him. Just creeping uh, yeah. behind. I don't see why I wouldn't follow him. Um, yeah, I'll follow him. I, I just feel like this would be like something that everyone would just split up real quick. Yeah. But yeah, we could follow him. Um, so, uh, what information brings you here? We don't often get visitors. Most people are known to us or and are either wandering the island or staying here. Well, I'm from off island. Almost was like were at some point. Off world or no. Hmm, sus. Hmm. Hmm. No, uh, I'm Awian. Looking specifically for information about what was it again? Like what? Oh, as a as a druid from the mainland. Mm, That's yeah. how I would phrase it. Okay. That's like re totally reasonable to say. Is there anything I should know about the island? Is there? Like an inform is there is there like an inf visitor's information desk or something like I'm kind of well if you're talking about the wildlife then I guess there's not oh and I also have uh, some stuff to report on is there someone I could speak to that I could um no I'm probably one of the oldest ones here right now not uh, too many people actually stay but I can relay any information along. Okay, okay, well, that actually isn't in right now, so. But I can always tell them anything you tell me. Great. So, uh, to start off more uh, local, there's. We passed a. Copes of. I, I don't know, what did you use? Herd? Copes? What? Uh, for. Anima tree, animated trees, and then there was a treant hiding amongst them? Yes. Uh, among us? We've taken notice of this as well. We've always known that they live around, and they've shown uh, themselves to us before, and uh, usually lone druids sometimes even have conversations with them. Speak but with they us. do seem to be a bit more bold currently, and agitated, and we're not certain why. But I think it would be best, especially since you are the only druid of the group, to steer clear if you run across any of them. Normally, they wouldn't be a danger to travelers, but something seems off. Well, many things are off, but specifically with them. But, uh, thank you for forwarding that information. Yeah, and is there uh, is anything on the island that I should look out for? Is there any specific areas that are off limits to certain? Do any of the circles on the island have beef with other circles? Not particularly. We do exist uh, 
like in the harmony here, there's not any beef between the two. Although, I did, uh, ha speaking of circles, I happen to notice uh, your circle of the stars, and I'm assuming one of the things you would mention is the lack of stars currently. Actually, I have one better than uh, being yet another witness to that strange phenomenon. Um, uh, my group and I recently came back from Observation Tower, whose name I forget. Uh, Heroes Triumph. Yes. And uh, the telescope there, uh, some property of it cut through the fog? The properties of the top of the mountain are well known to us. It doesn't appear to be natural in origin, but it is a very, uh, I wouldn't say sacred, but a very uh, important place. Okay. Uh, as uh, someone rather well versed in astronomy, given my, um, until just very awkwardly looked down at his forearms, Stars at the, the tattoos. Um, the stars are wrong. As in, you don't recognize them. They, the, uh, they aren't the right ones. Uh, are are they? Do, wrong do you do you have a, a clear patch of wall I could set this up at? He'll pull out his star map, like. Yeah, well, there would be, like, it would be a pretty, like, open room. And if you just set it out, it would actually probably just, like, the ceiling would be one of the best places. Okay. It would project, like, in a very large open No, like, area. I don't know. Yeah, hold it in such a way that it goes Stop up. Stop that. Well, that is what the stars should look like. Yes. And they do not appear as such. Uh, I t could not recognize a single one of them. They are all wrong. It's not because we're. It, it's the you know. It's not that it's the wrong time of year to be seeing uh, certain celestial bodies or constellations. It's they're just all wrong. None of the ones that are supposed to be up there are up there. It's wrong. <laughs> that is very important information. I will make sure to forward that on to our leader. I do not think we were aware of this. We uh, do not often have people traverse the mountain. And uh, it has been several months since a druid has previously come back from there. So it must have something to do with what is going on currently. I presume you've told uh, the college yes this. they would probably know more we can tell when thing we may be able to tell when things are wrong but we don't have the uh as much um uh, how should i say it uh, resources mm, book knowledge yeah we we don't quite have the uh, vast amount of written knowledge that they have hoarded books I was gonna. I was trying to think of a way to sound like really like distasteful about it, but I couldn't. Uh, I think hoarded knowledge would be probably yeah, okay. That'd probably be the good one. Yeah. We don't quite have the amount of hoarded knowledge that uh, the scholars of the college have. Scoffs at the druid. <laughs> not like necessarily in that aggressive of a way, but clearly just like not impressed. He and just then, admitted that it's not as good to have written word. Sorry, it's not as good. I, I, I was told also um, back in the city with the college. The, uh, I'm so bad with names today. Today, I'm sorry. Name uh, the or... Rock Sprocket. Yes. Uh, that I might be able to find more information on and then I will just start being very vague about um, old man yells at uh, cloud or well here I'll say I'll say I'll phrase it like this I was, I was told that I would be able to find out more about the creator of this and I'll put the moonsicle on the table 
lethal weapon. As soon as you do that, his eyes would go extremely wide and just look at your companion and say, are they trustworthy? I don't... You, you Do well, you know? <laughs> these tree folk confuse me and annoy me. It's okay. I, I'll just... It, very pointedly talk over Niles. Like, it's it, ignore him. He's still defrosting. Ooh. He does seem a bit more uh, an, an animal than humanoid. I wonder why that is. Um, but it's not very important for them, anyways. They could find out through one way or another. That is uh, our leader made that staff, wild beard. Wild beard. As, uh, <laughs> say a sickle, as many call him. Um, I can't tell you much about him other than he wanders this island and he does not often stop by. What he does is usually in secret, only speaking to a few of us. And if you are trying to find him, Either he will present himself to you, or you will have to find him yourself. Good luck, bitch. <laughs> oh. Good shit, dude. Good shit. And I'll, uh... How did I phrase this? As, um... As as awkwardly but and bluntly as possible, uh, Kel will ask: uh, Is there? You wouldn't happen to know if uh, Wildbeard had um, <laughs> any family? Would you? Uh, yes, it was well known that uh, well amongst us druids, anyways, that he did have a uh, he did have a wife at, at a time and she bore him children not as much as known or passed on about where the children went to believe they all left the island for one reason or another after his after uh, their mother died hint hint cough cough hint hint oh are you home baby boy oh gal hmm? oh Cal. Yes. No. Yeah. Maybe. That, that would explain how this uh, moon sickle came. There, to ru you. Rumor, rumors, rumors, rumors abound. It would have been one of the first attempts he made at harvesting the power of, or harnessing the power of the moon into physical form. If you take the moon and you take the moon. And then you find when the magnet. The moon hits your eye like. <laughs> So I think I hate you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> if that is if that is when it swims through the reef and has a second set of jaws with teeth that's a more when a fish bites your thigh and you bleed out your that that's a more I didn't know there was an entire fucking parody like this. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Who is your daddy and what did he do? Uh, well, I can as soon as you like actually like say, well, I can certainly tell you that he's not. He is not the father. He can't possibly be the offspring of. Wild beard. Are they different well, species? Centuries old. Ah. And uh, you are. How old are you? Please be just the right age. No, but... It's like, you know, <laughs> centuries. Centuries. <laughs> <laughs> Normal don't live that long. No, but druids live eight. that long. He's not level 18 or whatever you need to be. Uh, yeah. yeah. Timeless body. Uh, but for druids. What, I don't know, what uh, the fuck is the Furbolg age range? I think it's just normal. I thought it was old. Oh. Maybe it's too old. 
Snurbolg. Oldest of them can live for 500 years. Just be old. <laughs> as far as I know, you are not. No. Father. Wait. Uh, I guess going off the chart, like 30s, 40s. Yeah, like mid 30s, say. Yeah. That's well, that's what he's saying. But my guess, you look no more than mid 30s. Whereas Wildbeard is me looking at what the hell I wrote down in this reference. A number that is higher than that. 30. I mean, oh, wouldn't it be expected that your parents would be older than you? Nah, that's just a <laughs> No, but like, I, I'm not <laughs> gonna outright. Wild, oh, so what I was gonna say is, Wildbeard is. I don't even know how old he is, and I'm one of the people. But it's, too much. I mean, it's, but I know his been... wife died over 400 years ago. I mean, people I sleep around. Well, my... in, and as far as to my well, my mom he is isn't not so. Inspired children since. Oh. My my mother isn't in her four hundreds, so I wasn't implying that directive. But a... neither here nor there. Especially if you are his offspring, I'm sure you will end up meeting him, given that you already clearly possess very strong druidic gifts. But you may need to be very patient. Well, this is uh, certainly bad. more information than I've had access to. And he'll just let the, the implication yeah. hang. Well, that's, he doesn't like to be bothered or known, and that's as much as I can tell a druid. Just speaking of druidic this whole time, I assume. No, I probably would have been like, eh. Oh, fair enough. Probably, oh, so probably it's probably would be switching between them. Like, depending on what he's talking about. Like, he wouldn't open, like, yeah. he would say, probably not the son, but he wouldn't say the wife died over 400 years ago, or, like... Yeah, yeah. All the personal details. Would be druidic. Yeah. Um, but... Might mention it to the party, because it's not, like, total secret. No. <laughs> Lobelia pro actually does like no, she just didn't want to tell you because she does respect uh, respect them. But the druids have a bit more of a close relationship being druids. They can talk shit about um, each other and it's fine. Got them. Yeah. Um, but that is all I can really say. You will have to walk your own path from there. Figure out the rest. Um, one sec, I need to look at da -da -da. Da, 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 da. So and there is so, but the only other thing I could offer is we do have uh, druid some druid specific items that we can offer to help on your journey for uh, uh, for basically a modest fee. You get the friends and family discounts. Can, not even like they will make it for you, quote unquote, at cost. Ooh. But they are very limited in what they make, and it is just. Um, there is four items. There is a, the staff of great bird and beast calls. Hell yeah. Which yeah, like none of these are like super great. Can't actually. I don't even know if that's in the real magic item. So there's that. There's the staff of the woodlands, which is actually a good item. I think anyway, staff. I need to look at what the hell this was. Yeah, it's rare, and yeah, you can cast spells out of it. Um, that one is significantly more expensive, though. Like you, you probably can't afford it with everyone's money expensive. Yeah. There is the ring of wild shape. <gasps> a ring made out of. It's not as good as you think. <laughs> it is just like made out of a wood carving. And you can, in wild shape, communicate um, with anyone else who is wearing a ring telepathically. A ring of wild shape? Share a language. Basically, it allows you to talk in wild shape if, some, if someone else also has the ring. 
nice. That doesn't actually sound that bad, right. but you're, it's not it's as good not as I bad. wanted it to be. No, it's not like allowing people to wild shape. That would be that so would be fucking awesome. cool. Yeah. Moon rune of wild that shape? Would be very much against uh, their... They would just straight up not do that. Would, are there runes that are just like a specific one time per day power you could do? There's a couple of them, I think. But those are fewer and further between. Most of them are passive buffs. Um, and the last one is the Insignia of Claws. But, uh... Swagonomics. Claws. Which also, I don't think really works for anyone in the party, but it's there. While wearing the Insignia, you get a plus one bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls you make with unarmed strike and natural weapons. Such attacks are also considered to be magical. So, mostly for monks, then? Monks and druids with wild shape. I guess if you really want to, Cecilia, since she has a natural weapon. No, I don't have a natural weapon. You don't have a natural weapon? I guess no, 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 that's Arakakra. Yeah, I was gonna say, Arakakra oh, yeah. get a, the uh, owl. I get stealth. You do. I forgot you're not an Arakakra, a reskin Arakakra. I forgot that owls are a real thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. are their own thing. Um, so, uh, we can craft these for you. Why didn't you make it a separate race? Why not make it help. like a subspeed sub race? No idea. Because wizards want more money. Right. Yes. Strixhaven. Give money. Oh yeah, you know what? I think it's because of Strixhaven. It's literally oh, yeah. what they're from. Well, yes. Fair but, enough. Um, if there was any other points you had or questions you had to make, you can feel free to ask. But again, he sort of said... Relative to Wildbeard, anyway. Not gonna say anything else. Yeah. He gonna okay. come to you. <laughs> well, this is certainly, like I said, this is certainly more information than I've had ever previously. Who is this Wildbeard person? Yeah, like. Uh, a very important druid, obviously, and one the of the. Uh, original one of the OG uh, adventurers who uh, found, Killed, discovered, yeah, found built the island, discovered the island, built the island, killed the Babega previously. The Babega. He was one of the original. He's one of the original guys party. who did. Yeah. Big bad evil guy. The guys who did the thing. Who did? Who? He was one of the guys. The evil. He was one of the bros. The boys. One of the boys. The boys are back in town. The only one older than Alaria, who is also still alive. Older than me? No, probably not. <laughs> I mean, would you consider that being old? You, you were stuck doing nothing for like lots of years. Did I live that long? <laughs> The dragon is straightforward. That, again, living. The dragon is straightforward. By a technicality. By a technicality. I was here then, and I am here now. I was Do here for a Oh, timing wizardry. Oh, what's the. I'm just gonna check the. Um... Yeah, the. Uh... That being said, unless you get frozen again. Burbog will surpass you <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Eh, I have a warlock patron. I'll probably live forever. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia so would glitch. look at Kel and would say, I, I hope Wildbeard really does have a wild beard, or else I'll be a little bit disappointed. I want I want him to have a rainbow beard. I don't know why. I just think it would fit him. You don't even know how he looks like. The worst possible plot twist is we stumble upon him, and he still has like bits of uh, shaving soap on his face. And he's like, completely, <laughs> uh, he's completely, just complete, complete baby, complete baby face. <laughs> baby. That'd be That's really the wild funny. part. Uh, yeah, the wild part is it. Shaves it. The wild part, true. 
Um, actually, and uh, Cecilia specifically, can you make a perception check during this conversation? Sure, sure. We're being attacked? No. While shopping? Oh. Could you imagine? Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you, just, you do not happen to uh, notice anything. My passive is the same. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, I was gonna say you're, unless you're you're not proficient, you have zero, so your passive is you literally just rolled that. I mean, you could uh, try and coin flip for it, but it's oh. not uh, particularly important. Yeah. But if you coin flip, I'd let you add an inspiration if uh, you gave it to you. Yeah. Sure. Do Do you want me to? I'll do it only if you want me to, because it's using your resource. It's not like we're gonna be in a fight anytime soon. Okay. We're probably gonna take a short rest before that fight anyways. Oh, do they come back on a short rest for you now? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. They are cheap ski. So yeah, roll your coin. <laughs> sure. Nerd. Uh coin of the day. Coin of the sesh. It's gonna be lower. Nine, please. Yeah. Oh. So, but you can. So, if you add the inspiration, I'll still give the ten plus whatever it is. Oh, because you're basically treating it like advantage, not luck. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> a, a cube rolled it first. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm also like literally. That's so depressingly sad. Um, <laughs> Oh, you get no information. <laughs> Fuck you. With the plus three, uh, the DC was twelve. Oh. You notice the druid as. Um, you guys are talking, his eyes flit to your sword. And then, like, back, like, just a very quick, like, hmm. That's the moon sword. The legendary moon blade. No, but it was made for me. It's a legendary blade made for her specifically. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, the yeah, power legendary. of God and anime on my side. I think since uh, one of my uh, inspirations got the rose, like it was blue, it was like oh, it. Was it that mean? Or what is it just me or is that that? Did his eyes move? It, was he looking at me? He was. I think I. I think I saw him looking at me. <laughs> it just pointed the pick so the eyes. It was. Well, it's relatively minor, and that's why I wanted to give you the chance because you were so freaking close anyway. Oh. <laughs> but you could do it that way. You will. Okay. Uh. Wait. Sorry. Um, I also call him the Secretary Druid. <laughs> Definitely roll his eyes at that. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm not calling oh, him okay, that in my notes. That? Damn, that would have been funny. <laughs> hey, Secretary. Because then he'd probably be like, you're from the college, aren't you? I mean, to be fair, it's accurate. It's probably what she would end up calling him. I'm just, right, tell, I'm saying my notes right now. <laughs> uh, Fancy sword took note of it. Definitely wasn't like glaring or leering or like looking jealous or anything. Just was like hmm. noticed hmm. it's there and it's like hmm. Moon. Caught the uh, <laughs> moon flavored. Tasty. Oh but like he said that his master makes the moon, moon stuff. Correct. Yeah there you go. He's looking. Cause there's, there's two of the, the, the what fucking master works here. Right now? Uh, he's not... So specific to note, he's not the only person who works at the Terrace on the Moon. Okay. So there are other people who are capable. But... Um, he still took note of your sword specifically. Hmm. Which is like bonk. Is it because... Of who made it, because he's well, no, like he's not surprised to see it. Is the thing, right? Like, is he surprised by who made it, or is it just not of a make in the area? You can ask. Or you I could can ask. I want to try to insight because I'm just eyeballing him back now. Okay, yeah. So def do an insight first. You can also just straight up ask. Yes, yeah, so it, it's like he gave it the exact same look he gave the sickle, just like really quick. Pretty sure that your sword was made by this wild beard. Cool. 
And interestingly enough, you, when you retrieved the sword, Alaria pointed out who made it, and it was just an elf. Huh. Hmm. But also, you know, druid powers be like, Burr. I mean, he might just be an elf. Um. Well, elf with a beard. I we haven't. Know. We haven't like been told. Gun knows it's a fur bulk. Okay, because he's related. Yes. yes. He's your uncle twice removed. <laughs> I gotta wonder no. why how that uncle got. Not quite, but you know. No, literally, he got removed from the. But it is a uh, curious, twice. as one might say. Okay. Uh you just ask him about the sword. This I mean with that insight it would basically be the same thing. Okay, fair enough, then never mind. It, 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 let it back on. I thought you knew that's also his work. Uh well, I wasn't told that. Very curious. Much as I said that, that's all he would say in response. To yeah. <laughs> uh, told... This beard guy wanted to harness the power of the moon, so he made these weapons. Yes. Cool. I wonder what kind of moon, what the moon powers would be. You summon a really big moon and then you drop it, but it takes a really long time. Damn, Whoa. that's crazy. Takes about three days. It destroys the island. Yeah, it takes like three days. And if you fail, you you get to restart. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we knew it was a Majora's Mask reference. <laughs> um. So if that is uh, I think that's yeah. I don't think there's everything. And yeah anything else I can really think of for the druid folk. Yeah. So uh, uh, it's we're going into this blind. Remember. <laughs> Yep, and you're going into it somewhat less blind, but still pretty. I don't know. You see him when you see him. He'll probably decide when something something get fucked. Bump into him at the bump into him at the next end. It's like uh. Wait, I'm a big fan. He, he pulls he pulls the he pulls the what, what's his face from Mega Mind. He's just like <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. He's just like walking in the back and like oh. No, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me just leave real quick. So, so but, I the think ice, that... but the ice cubes are still frozen. Oh my god. Um, that pretty much concludes your business here. Yes. Um, and I'd say it takes you a couple hours. It's still only like around six. 7 p.m. You would have time to make it to uh, Bruton, which is on the way, if you so desired. Sure. Um, we'll start heading there. Or heading to Pike's Landing. Yo. Uh huh. And I will get another survival check. I would be more than happy to provide a survival check for the party as yeah. uh, such. I might get in the forest. Do you want an inspiration? I sure would. Three, sure two, one, go. I mean, that's one better than your previous one. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Have we got in a. Short rest and... recently. <laughs> Do you want a short rest right you now? We could have short rested before you left the uh, city and still have time. Uh, I, yeah, I just want uh, at least some of them back. I mean, uh, sitting and talking to people. Yeah, I don't. Kind of yeah, yeah. Counts as a short rest. I wanted to make sure if it counted, so I could have some of them just in case. Who's yeah, gonna... no. So you, you'd only have one used right now. Um... Yep. I still had one more if I didn't. That 
let's see here. Nope. So yeah, you do not run into any encounters on the way to Urchin, so it doesn't really matter anyway. You make it there safe and sound. Sleepy hours. Take a little nap. This is, yeah. I yeah, take a nap here. Another, uh, another gold for another night. Uh, you can even stay at Hero's Rest Play, but it's not free now. Don't I have just a room? Just a room? Oh no, but it's in the elf land. Yeah, it's in the elf land. That's like you could have you could have definitely found and stayed with um family there. Or friends, I guess. Fa family friends. But that was uh elf lands. This is not. This is not. This is Dragon Land. Um, uh, I look up to the dragon. Before, really. You look at the dragon? I look at the dragon. It's dragon. The dragon is made of dragon. Are you happy? God, I'm white. I am quite happy. So, uh, rest of that incident, obviously you're in a town. I will say, so you can either continue moving on towards Pike's Landing, definitely make it there by like, uh, similar, like, mid to late afternoon. Uh, you can also potentially stay and try to investigate into the crop deaths. But that's not quote unquote currently what you're doing. It's just something around here that's sus. I forgot about that. Um, would we ever cross path here? On the way back, well, probably. Yeah. Yeah, you'll like, there's no, like, that's what I'm saying. There's not really any sort of rush to do it. Um,. This is very much also a central place on the island. Like, any time you're going back to the mountain from the entire right half of the island, you pretty much pass by it. Are we here? Like, Where are we? Here. It's like the actual town. So yeah, like, and, and like, unless you're literally avoiding it by crossing the desert, you pretty much always pass by here. So it's not a big deal to leave it. Plus, if we wait for them, maybe they'll already have it solved. Sorry, where on the uh -huh. map is the uh, elf city? That big oh, old this. Yeah, okay. pretty tree, because elves be like that. Okay, hoot, hoot hoot. Um, you're not even an elf. You're, you're an owl. I hooted. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> hoot hoot. I hooted. I also hooted. Uh, so, then, if you just want to move on, it's totally fine. I'll take another survival check. Or sure. this, this one okay. literally, I mean, to be honest, with a five, plus five, can I, I will can say I, you, you can't fail. Can I guidance myself still, just in case? Sure. <laughs> no, of course not. Why would you be able to do that? Hey, you, like, the, so this area specifically, like, going from here to Pike's Landing, it's a five, because there's a pathways that go the entire way, and it's open fields. To get what lost, you're saying you is he did a really good job. He did a really good job of following the path Yo. so far. But I still need to roll. So there is going to be... Dun, dun, dun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they killed Kenny. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastards! Uh huh. Where the fuck nuggets is? There it is. Uh, boom. Am I gonna try out, try out the golem fighting? That'll be sick. Especially, you tell me. Oh wow. I didn't even notice I already had it. So, uh, as you're walking, it's not even that far out of probably like two or three hours out of the main city. You come across. Oh, I guess I should put wide area, small, or reset. Oh, is it not? 
go. Yeah. Okay, one sec, I'm just getting the map set up. As one do. Mario, why'd you send that? Because he is good bias. Is goodbye. Green cube just went AFK. Oh. Huh? No. Goodbye, okay. Chad. I was AFK for a second, but yeah. Okay. What? What do you need? Well, why did you send that? We were just oh. wondering why you sent goodbye, Chad, and I'm like, well, probably. Probably. Oh, I was looking at talking about the gif itself. That's what. The a golem, quote unquote. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah. I get it. That's what okay. I got out of it. I see. I thought it was the. the that I was. I, I couldn't find a better gif that didn't say, have those words. I was just too That's lazy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was just too lazy. Ah, uh, laziness. Truly. Truly. Revolutionary. Ah, uh, boom. Revolution. Let's oh. see. So, oh, you fine. on this map, I assume I just moved you all. Yep. It's you fine. guys would appear in the top left. Top left. Yep. Boom. And where the heck is this? Uh, boom. Boom. Upload. I need my tokens. So you come across, oh, who, damn it, damn it, gun. What did I do? So what did you, put your character down. Oh. Or someone put theirs over yours, I can't see it. No, oh, he didn't put his character down. Nope. Um. One second, I'm just gonna double check. Wait, how'd you put your character not in a square? Oh, it's when you first... Uh, click it. I also think. No, actually, actually, you can cheat by alt. holding down Alt. Alt. Yeah, and then it. Oh. It's like yeah, whatever, fine. Interesting. Wait, really? Um, Wait. Really? Could you like stop though? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you come across uh this farmstead. You passed a bunch along the way, like here and there. You're, you're out far from the city now, but there's. Pl it's mostly farmland between here and Pike's Landing, so it's not surprising. What is surprising is you notice that in the pig pen, there are a bunch of dead pigs instead of live ones. Mm -hmm. And the front door of this building is just a jar. Why is the door a jar? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. I knew someone was going to say that as soon as... The came out of head. Alexander, is that you? That's why I was also confused. <laughs> um, so, that is the situation you're currently in. Please feel free to don't like, feel free to move up to like your movement at a time. Because if so, and like, be relatively in turn order taking. Feel free to make any checks if you want. Um, can I cast a, can I cast a summoning spell? Yeah, you could cast your uh, bring your golem up. Oh, do we know that something is happening? Maybe it. Well, no, it's very sus, right? So it's it's reasonable. Dun, 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 nice. Dun, dun, dun. I, I saw that. Why? What? Me? Yeah, I, I see you doing that. I'm putting it on and I'm jumping on and. I'd give him a big old hug, even though that's so hot. <laughs> like, physically. Dies in, dies in some way. Uh, I'll just do a general perception for now before we get any... Is there anything? It's just to see if I can spot anything more than just, you know, the door being... 
a jar. Slightly yeah, open. Made of, made out of <laughs> it's made of pottery. We find okay. Like, we find a large. We find a large glass jar in the middle of the woods. No, it's inside. Where the there door is. normally is. Oh. <laughs> we find the man trapped in a jar in the middle of the woods. Do you let him out? Of course. Ah. Yes. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're put there for a reason, and then you die. Also, initiative or no? Um, so far you're not an initiative, okay. but again, I just ask that people like just do things relatively in order. Eight, uh, eleven perception. I mean, the pigs—you can tell the pigs look like they just died from some sort of bite, but that's the only thing you can really see. Like they definitely were not killed to eat because they're like you know still dead over there. But can I? No, I'll, I'll, I did. I did my one. You did your check. Uh, does anyone else have a check they would like to? Perform? I'd like to hold action to remind myself to do a thing on my turn. Do. The... Okay. Do zombies kill things when they bite them? Did we see zombies? Do they look like zombie bites? Yeah. Investigation. Thank God it's something I'm good at. Do you want help? I can help. Sure. I am not proficient in it. Wow. I think this is like one of the first wizards I've played. Oh. Nine, 15. That's still good enough. These were definitely not killed by zombies. Um, they were definitely killed by some, like, yeah. Doesn't even look like undead, especially because it was—it's very clean. Can I make like a medicine check to and see it, what it was? Um, I was actually just gonna give with that investigation, because oh. uh, you also helped, so yeah. that's I'm gonna give you a bit more on that too. I would say with your help, you can tell that they died relatively recently. Like it hasn't been days that they've been left there; it's been like hours at worst. Mm. Approximately like five hours, I would say. Oi, guys, keep an eye out. There's uh, so something that hit killed these pigs, and they're probably still here. And then. Nah, was there anything you would like to check? This is just on the side of the road, right? It's like, yeah, so there's this. Is, you're literally like walking along the main road, and there's these houses here. And it looks is like. Is there a reason we're stopping? Curiosity. Well, if something is. Terrorizing the neighborhood. I look Certainly. around. Does it look like anyone's been here in the past hour? Uh, make a perception check, but like at minimum, you can tell it doesn't look like anyone's walked along the path in the last hour. That you can yeah. tell. I mean, looks like we're too late, guys. <laughs> um, Still wouldn't hurt investigating. It's not like this is going to take our entire day. Could lead to a fight we didn't have to have. But you don't, you don't want to take care of the things that may cause more issues in the future? We need to survive to do our job. Would you walk into an avalanche because it might save someone else from it? You know Sophia's answer to that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad answer. Um, so uh, with that, everyone, like, you can feel free to move forward along the path so you're at pace with the party. I'd say if anyone else wants to make any sort of other checks, now would be the time. Otherwise, you can just keep moving on and try to just walk past. Just moving on. And she would 100% check the inside to see if there's any survivors. Can I look through the window? Ah, uh, yep, so I will. Reveal your... Where is the frickin' reveal tool? Are you gonna actually do the... Reveal. Actually, I'll just reveal this whole room. And can you make a... Uh, perception check? My eyes are deceiving. I deceive. Real good. 
you see, and this will be a rolling initiative. Uh, Frickin' hell, switching between layers feels clunky sometimes. Yeah. Layer. Token layer. Boom. Oh my god, and then to go to the token layer. Move the thing. Click to reveal areas. Reveal the thing. Just as you look in, you see this thing slip around the corner. Or like you see it sort of like poking out. And then it uh, goes... Disappears. <laughs> Guys, there's definitely something in here. Are you here. gonna put the initiative tracker up? Yes, now? sorry. Uh, there. Awesome. Three, two, three, two, one, go! Holy shit! Um, Can I make it what? see what it was? <laughs> or see what it did necessarily? <gasps> yeah, like. Worst oh place. My, my god! Damn, I broke that man. I broken that man in Holy half. shit! Oh shit. Oh. Holy shit. Bam. People are gone. It's like the worst place for it though. I'm so sad. I'd rather have it on an attack. That's yeah. true. Okay. Uh, that is uh, that. Okay. And then. Uh, sending. Boom. Uh, so if you. I. Would like you could make a um, nature check. Nature check. Okay. Or a history check. History check. They're the same. So it's nature. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a phase spider. It's a it's a In phase. It's a it is just a phase spider. And you know, with that. That what it just did was it just swapped out to the ethereal plane. Oh shit! Space fighter, space fighter. Guess who has blink? Um, <laughs> that fuck with them? No, it means that I go onto the ethereal plane. I can attack them too. Anything for the rest of the party? Yeah. It also doesn't do anything for me because uh. I can only do actions on my turn, which blinks me out of the ethereal. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can just see them. I could technically hold my action. Hold action. But like Yeah, you can hold uh, an action to attack them when they come out. Or or when I go in. Um Or when you go in too, because it alternates off of Yeah. Yeah. The the thing with it is that like it's not as efficient as it could be. I just think it's funny. Um oh. So it is uh, Cecilia's turn first. This does feel like a good opportunity to cast Blink, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, bonus action, Blade Song, action, yep. action, Blink. You're going to Blink dance with it. Uh, sounds good. Are you gonna move up and try to see? Yeah. Uh. No, I'm gonna stay back and not see now. <laughs> okay, peek out. That is a window, right? Yeah, it's a window. <laughs> so, when on the ethereal plane, you can see on the material plane, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, actually, that one is like right there. Oh, no. Uh. And it's on the material plane. I will roll my blink d20. Only medium creatures now? I don't oh, know. They're large. Okay, that's what I, I thought. I just read that. I actually only thought they were medium, and then I just checked. They were, ba they were that. baby. No, there's, there's like pretty much no. Um, hey, I can see it. You actively fight that are medium. That makes sense. I can. Oh, I can't move out of that spot. That's like way hu more huge. Uh, I'll say they can maneuver through the hallway still, because. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, boom, but I need to go and upsize. Okay, and... So, does it, what happens when you cast it? Nothing happens when you cast it, you roll every turn. Literally okay. nothing, yeah. Okay. Literally nothing, it's at the end of your turn is when the effect is triggered. 
I mean, so you'd probably see that before you got up to the window if you wanted to try and back off, because that's like... Could I see it? Is, is it on this plane? Yeah, this is on... This one is on this plane. Okay, well, I'm not anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Yeah, Are you yeah. not? Did you roll? I rolled it. Nice, 17. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's okay. I've, I, I hard committed to being there, so it's okay. <laughs> so you poofed. So you are set. And then it goes to Quinn's turn. Hmm. So Celia probably would have called it out, I can imagine. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, there's a spider here, and then just there's poof. There's spider hit. There's mid -lane. enemy spider. Yeah. We had to be beat the boy. I don't want to go in the door, so. Spider, over here, here. Yeah, like that easily gets you within visual range of one that is not currently poofed out. Can I shoot you the window? Yep, it'll break the window, but it's not your farmhouse. It's probably gonna break the window. I would say, uh, as well. You see this one, it is currently munching on a corpse. Oh, nice. a poor guy. Nice looking halfling. No. Oh. Uh, he's, he's only so half sad. a fling. Oh, he's half a halfling? The spider clearly looks Quarter hungry. Fling. I'm gonna guiding bolt it. Yep. <laughs> that does not hit. <laughs> Should I reroll? You can use your reroll. And, uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm gonna... that was pretty sad for, you know, rolling a two. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll it with my coins. Okay. There it is. There it is. Yeah, that's a hit. Da -da 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 -da. 14 radiant damage. Ow. Ow. Uh, like the... Yeah. <laughs> No, it does not, in fact, die instantly, but it does look like that is a significant portion of it. Help. Oh, Cecilia, Bardic Inspiration. You can't see me. You cannot see her. Alright, I'll She's give... She's not on this plan. Right, <laughs> She I'll just give... went... She just dabbed and blinked out. I just dabbed. heard her talk, I went down the corner, I didn't see her, I'm very confused. It's true. You're allowed to be confused. I, I mean, if there's a verbal it. component to blink, which there is. Yeah. Only on the spell. cast of the spell, not on the blinking out every turn. Yeah, I know, but just like... You know at least. Be able to tell that's what happened. Right. I'll give an inspiration to Niall. Sure. I won't no. use it on my next turn. It's good and for like ten, ten minutes. minutes. Um, that is my turn. Yeah, I'd like to move here. Ah, uh, you can move there, and you uh, would, you can be inside this place. Kaflui. Oh no, I uh, didn't. The reveal tool just did the selection. GG, Rit. Hmm. There. Now you can oh, see these two, which are on this plane, as a matter of fact. Surprisingly, they can't eat corpses if they're on the ethereal plane. The corpses could be in the ethereal. They can't pull them into the ethereal. They have no way to do that. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, if the corpses started there, <laughs> I uh, if I die. To... Uh, well, mm, I don't know. Should I? Uh, should I? Yeah, I'll guide you. Wow. The one How original. Yes. And it'll be. Uh, That's a hit. It, it'll it'll be a a, a subclass feature cast right yep hiya wow that's significantly less than 14 true almost le half 14 but still a number of damage yes hits it in like one of its legs and sort of like hurts it goes like ow you know that leg will never heal ah <sighs> Because it'll be dead soon. No, because ah. spiders can't heal large injuries yeah, sure. because of their body. Gotcha. Rip face spider. Ah. Okay. Then it will go to 
The Spooder's turn. Actually, is that even? Can you even see that one on the initiative? I think that's one of the ones that isn't. Uh... Yeah, we can see that one on the initiative. Okay, perfect. The 12, right? Yep. This one will burst out and see. Uh, it will first attack the. Uh, yeah. It'll first attack the metal thing before pro promptly regretting it, I imagine. I would love to know how a spider is supposed to penetrate a metal golem with its fangs. It has oh. space fangs. Probably not with a 13 to hit. He's AFK, I'm by the way. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure that misses. I can look at the statue myself. Just to make sure, yeah, it's 17. And the second one is going to go after the uh, tasty looking, uh, snack looking furbog that hit him in the face with the guiding bolt. That is a 17 hit. Uh, it does. Okay, and where is dice? Dice is here. That is 10 points of piercing damage. And Ow. make a constitution saving throw. I sure can. Hiya! Yeah. That's a natural twenty. Natural twenty. You <laughs> save, and you only take we have, one. Two, it hasn't three. been like one turn of combat. We already rolled four nat twenties. Really? With uh, all the initiatives. Yeah. Also, you. You got the temp HP, right, Gun? Oh yes. Well, my, my yeah. So you took uh, two, you have two left, you took ten from the attack. And then you take uh, sixteen half, so eight points of poison damage. And this so one... <laughs> I will be... Actually, right that one, was, that was a 35, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I can't quite make it up there. So it'll skitter up. But this one, sorry, this should be... Uh... I'm just going to use the... Uh... Since it doesn't like... Mm. No, I'll use the actual layer, even though it's going to freaking hide its initiative. But and this one... Is going to use its... Uh... It is going to blink out. You don't have to move them. Yeah, I was going to say, and it will give a ha fine how do you do to uh, Cecilia. Wait, it can see me on the ethereal plane? Should be. You're both on the ethereal You're plane. No, it no, wasn't, it is, though. It is bl I just said it, it just uh, blinked out. Uh, it misses. Cool. Certain miss. Uh, on the ethereal plane, you can just move through physical things, can't you? Yeah. Uh... A little bit. Like Double check that. I don't okay. think that's actually correct. Let me let me peek the blink spell. Maybe Same. it'll. Because there's no way you would be able to walk through walls True. if you can stand on the ground. Yeah. True. Because it's like. Oh, what the hell? Why is this oh. really sticky? Mm, it only says stuff about creatures can't perceive or interact with you, but... I think it depends, because like, the ethereal plane isn't one-to-one -one the material plane. Right, but like, then the argument is how can you... No, because I there? think... I th the only thing I can think of that sort of counteracts that uh, logic is... Well, no, because it's like, Wall of Force specifically mentions it's in the ethereal plane. Yeah. I think I think the but thing of it is that you can... It's like how ghosts in the material plane can walk through you. You can walk through the material plane as if it's a ghost. The ethereal plane still has a ground in itself, but like the Why things that are... Line up perfectly with the material plane, then. It doesn't. Well, it has to, because you come back directly on the material plane where you I don't know. It, it it says at least in the spell it tells you that you 
you you can see as they were in your plane of origin but it doesn't mean that you can't you can touch those things i'm not sure about that i don't think you can touch them right but but the the problem with that is then you just can't show up on that plane again what if you come back halfway through the ground what if you come back halfway in the well, night? Well, it says specifically Blink pushes you out. So Unoccupied space. I think it means you can go through. I think it means you can go through. But it is weird. I don't know if it's Mostly weird. Mostly in... Uh, Bartitero seems... Uh, yeah, solid objects on the overlapped plane don't hamper the movement of a creature in the border ethereal, which is... So I think that's, so this one will, uh, it will, shoop, where the hell is the frickin', why well, can't, <sighs> I wish you could still select things even if they're on a different layer, that'd just be so nice. Yeah. You can do that on fantasy grounds. Yeah, and then it will be over here. And also looking too much on uh, Hell's face. That is a 14 to hit. Gone. Gone. Yes. 14. Is my AC. So meets it, beats it. Yes. Cool. Um, another. Oop. Uh, five piercing damage and another con save. You got it. Yeah. No I throw thing. a dice. That's fine. That also makes it. So you are good. Um, and specifically this one. And yep. And the spooters are done their turn. Boy. My turn. G goes to Nile. Any of these still here? Uh, every one that you can see is still here, except for the one that Cecilia sees. If, unless Cecilia can see them, I will make sure that they are actually invisible. Are either of the ones near me been taking any damage? The one uh, to the right of Kel has taken damage and a guiding bolt. So advantage on the attack? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna hex it. Okay. Yep, critical range is 19. Boy, critical range. Is I will reckless. Uh, you didn't know you were. Well, oh, yeah, on the second one specifically. Yeah. Well. So both those attacks are on the uh, one that has taken damage. Yep. And uh, both hits. Uh, curse target. Yep. Uh, that is enough to kill it. Oh. Certainly. So you freaking. I don't remember them having much movement. They do not. Be health. Um, smooshes its brains in. And yeah. it. Just like. Its head is just concaved into the freaking ground and cut into bits as you slash right into it with hardly any resistance. Spiders do not have good armor. Look at the next one. That's all. It, it it looks kind of scared. Good. Um, okay, that is all. Sophia's turn. You got a spider next to you. Did it attack me on the, any of the... It attacked the construct and missed. Oh, okay. Cool. That's to react. You were at, you were at AFK. Yeah. So I just took a peek at your... That's fine. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um... I will start probably by smacking it with the construct. Yep. Construct goes slam. Construct goes slam. Go on and slam. And welcome yeah, to yeah, Japan. Yeah, yeah. And welcome to Japan. Japan. Um. <laughs> that hits. Come on and dunk. Oof. Uh, yeah, they do not have vulnerability to bludgeoning, but, uh... Lowest damage possible. 
minimum damage roll be like, oh no. Yeah. Rackle again, 17, does that hit? 17 hits. 14 bludgeoning. Oh, that's significantly better. And you have bloodied this one. And as my action... Mm-hmm. I shall... This is an attack roll, right? Because it's going to suck if it is, yeah. Uh, wah, wah. I will shocking grasp it, I guess, because it's right there. Ah. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Um, make the roll. That hit? super hits. The spider is shook. It's shocked. shocked. Damage. It's shocked. Uh, what else does it do? Uh, no can't reactions. reactions. You can leave. You That's can true. Walk away. Um, but I'm good where I'm at. Uh, okay, oh, and that's it. That's my turn. Yeah. Okay. So see that you're uh, vibing with this spider over here. Uh huh. We're just gonna. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh wait, no, wait. It's on the ethereal though. I can't attack it. Are you on the ethereal? Not anymore. No, no, you, you come right back right to the start. Of your start. Time. I mean, you could hold it to... I know it's there. <laughs> you could hold it for when it appears. No, I'll hold it for when I blink back. Oh, that works too. Well, because you don't always blink back, right? I don't always blink back, so we'll see. Well, all you have to say is, I will hold it until I can see it to yeah, attack. Because True. Because then it's regardless of if you blink back. I did not blink, blinks. so I'll wait. So Okay, there. So, it will... Nothing will happen yet. Yet. Quinn, uh, you can see the one over by here. You cannot see the one by Cecilia, and you can see the one in the distance beside Sophie. Cool. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Now they're playing the theme music. Wait, yeah. is Nile an immigrant? Nile no. Is literally, <laughs> literally the only like, person the on this island. Of oh, this, this, island. this song doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Are you okay? Um, yeah, I, I don't think an uh, immigrant song would work for somebody who is several thousand years old and native to this area. <laughs> <laughs> he has been to the land of the Get Exodus off Marvel. my land. <laughs> Get off my property. Old Get man yelling at kids. House. Get off my lawn. What are you, what are you people doing to my room? Uh, guiding bolt this one. Eh. 26. Eh. Uh, yeah, it super hits. That's definitely not a four, lower than 14. Definitely. You got 8 on your fucking guiding bolt? Gun also got an 8 earlier with his guiding bolt. Uh, yeah. Literally. That's two 8s and a 14. He just don't go. Uh, anything else? Bonus action spire, bonus action cry in the corner. I mean, not in the corner, you're out in the middle of the road, but, you know. You know. Bonus action to scream into the void. Yeah, it works too. Also reveal that action, is all. Uh, nothing really to see. No point in having any part of the hidden map now. Cool. Uh, Keljamin. Gun. Right. Uh, I'm going to bolt the bird. Wait. The hits bird. the owl. <laughs> the oh, owl, that's shit. correct. Actually, right. no, the owl is on the right. Uh, Oh, sorry, this uh, is do be careful that if you gun. are doing a ranged attack, spell attack, you're gonna have disadvantage if you're nearby. Yeah, I understand. She do be. <clears throat> oh, 
What are my um, options besides just getting kicked in the face? I mean, you could negate the disadvantage with your, uh... Oh! The thing. Can I Point. see him? Where see I am? him? Kel. Kel, 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 walk up a little bit to past <laughs> Nile. Walk past Nile. Walk so past Nile. Where he is, definitely not. But in the square above Nile, definitely yes. Okay, uh, I will negate your, your disadvantage with my reaction. Bam. Okay. So now you so can I'm... attack at normal. This one is still guiding yeah, Bolton. Yep, so actually that's... Oh yeah, that's true, actually. It would be at normal anyway. You don't even need to burn that. Really? Yeah, yeah it's guiding Bolton. It's guiding Bolt on it. Oh, okay, no. well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna Wait, uh, well, you could have advantage, technically, because no, all I no. do is negate... Oh, you just negate the disadvantage? Uh, yeah, I negate disadvantage, and then he would have advantage. Oh, okay, or... then yeah, that's... All right, well, as, as I'm, I'm gonna yeah. Sailor Moon this, and I'm gonna advantage on the Luminous yeah. Arrow. Yeah. I'll do it. So you can have advantage. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> that hits. Uh, three, two, one, go. Congrats, you did as much as a guiding bolt. Hooray for... As you're a guiding bolt, too. Uh, any action, action? Or is it action to... No. Bonus action to Luminous Arrow, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the Luminous Arrow is cast as an action of uh, doing my Magical Girl transformation. Oh, I thought that uh, I thought that gave you a use of Luminous Arrow when you did it. Okay. No. Everything okay. Depends. Cool. Specific words is. Cool. Yeah, I can also do this as part of the bonus action I use to assume the starry form. Oh wait, it's uh. Yes. Yeah, starry so forms is only a bonus. Action. Yes. It's oh. a, it's it's literally wild shape. Oh right. Well, wild shape uh, is an action. You get a full action. No, it's only an action in Mark's D, uh, Dark Souls. I thought it was an action yeah. unless you were. Bonus action. Huh. What is a bonus action? Uh, wild shape. Oh, yeah. I know because it made me. Or actually, it's. Oh, maybe wild shape without moon is, a bo is an action. That's what I mean. No, like. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't played every druid I've ever played wrong. Because that would be really depressing. Because <laughs> what a thing to get wrong. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is. Wild shape is action. It's moon druid that gets bonus action specifically. That's right. Okay, yeah, cool. So you get to use it as a bonus action because you because you assumed it this turn and you used your action to assume it this turn. Unless it's written in Circle of the Stars and it's a bonus action to do that. Okay, yeah, so it is bonus action for starry form. Yeah, sorry, I just had to go. I had to go to my 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 PDF character builder to. You get, get, the, get, get, get the spark notes. Yeah. Um, uh, that would disadvantage because it'd be a ranged spell attack in Malay. Malay. Yeah. yeah, I can only negate one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did I? I did not enter the stats for that properly. One moment. Elevator music. But that, 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 that. Well, no, I just want to make sure that when I click the button to do the thing, it does the thing. Oh yeah, it no way. You thing. deleted. You deleted the right token. Off the tracker. No, it's uh, currently in. It's on the tracker. Or is it invisible? Invisible. Oh. Interesting. It is next. Yeah. Ah, I did not. And it'll be appearing on its turn anyway. Uh. So it's one eighty four plus Yeah, um I put the number from a plus X weapon in the field after attack stat, right? Uh, so strength like strength plus zero strength plus void plus proficient. I think so. Yes. Maybe. I'm still not sure what you were asking. Yeah, what are you ask, asking specifically? This. I just want to make sure that this is pooping out the right... 
numbers. Your 19 plus minus plus one. minus 1 strength. Yeah. Can't you use dex? Can't you dex? use dex with the moon sickle? Is it not the nest? I thought you could. To save DC, you might have to make a... Like, it's a light five. weapon. Yeah, yeah so, so you can use a... You know, uh, finet, use, nah, uh, no, uh, light weapon you is... Dex. It's only finesse that lets you do it. Oh. That's weird. Dex. Um, yeah, I could have sworn it was. Light means that you can hold one it, it one in hand, I think. Yeah, yeah. you can two-hand light weapon. Yeah. Unless you have the thing that lets you do it without that. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's two hand. That's the versatile. You might just have to add like a global modifier. But that looks correct to me. Minus one plus two. Plus yeah, because it's still listing my spell save DC as 16 instead of 18. And so just, uh, yeah, just uh, like there should be a global modifier field you can check and then have it just listed as that. Yeah. And then that'll also work if it ever gets unequipped or anything from you. Makes it easy to deal with. Uh, 23 super hits, though. Nice. Is... Nice. If you get... One minus one. So if you roll one, then you would have to do zero damage with it. Well, minimum one, always. All right. Uh, okay, is that that is action, bonus action. Yes. Praise Sailor Moon. Yeah. Okay, so now nah, boom, 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 token. Uh, and then make your attacks, Cecilia. I get a single one. Or attack, yeah, because you can't ready both as it. Yeah, fair. It is at advantage. It's still got the effect of guiding bolt. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, the very first one. Yeah. Oh, thank god. Super hit. Uh, although, did you. Were you doing shocking grasp? I guess that does make sense. Yeah. Also, it doesn't matter. I have Warcaster now, so I can cast a spell off my turn. But, like, yeah. shock, shocking grasp yeah. would make more sense. So. Uh, yeah. So that super hits. It is now bloody. Very much so. Does not have a reaction. It does not. This one, they're going to. It doesn't react. It's a noble gas. After failing to uh, bite into the. Thing, yeah, I don't. The one I on don't. The right is going to bite and try to get into Sophia. Okay. I don't see a a modifier field for. That uh, is a 17 to hit. Oh, that hits. Okay. And that is uh, eight points of piercing damage and a con save. Um, let me just do this for your convenience. Um. Is this a f attacking Cecilia or the robot? Uh, me, uh, me Cecilia. So it's, it's, it's no. Sophia. Why am I called Cecilia? Yeah, Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Same so thing. this is the first con save for your effect. Yep. Uh, that and saves. This is the con save for taking damage. Which? Uh, so the poison damage is still. 10 points after reduction. Okay. Um, so that still means you save. And the other one, the new one, is still dumb enough that it's going to try and hit your metal machine. Mm -hmm. That is a natural 20. With disadvantage? Oh, yeah, right. Because it has disadvantage on the attacks against you. Right? Because yeah. I'm on top of it. Now. That you is gave me something busted, 18. bro. Uh, that I think just hits. Uh, yeah, because no, no, it's it's more than that. Yeah, it hits. Uh, and it's I'm pretty sure it's immune to. Is it immune to poison damage? Uh, I think so, no. but it's not. It's immune resistant. To psychic. It's, res it's resistant to poison damage, and it's okay. not. There's nothing about psychic, unfortunately. Uh, future um, reference, I so guess. It's... 
seven piercing damage. If you stay 60 feet from me, or at least the enemy, I could pr potentially negate all nat 20s. Oh. Yeah, because oh. of uh, silvery barbs. balls. Sorry, how much? Uh, uh, seven? Seven said? piercing damage, and then con save. And oh. also roll damage for the reflection. Yes. Uh, what does it... What, why does it need to do a con save? Is it That's for poisoned or something, or is it... No, it's for the damage. Oh, so it'll okay. take the damage. So here's a con save for... But, uh, yeah, it's immune to the poisoned effect. Uh, that's a failure, but it's resisting, you said, anyway. Yeah. So it's like a success. Uh, that is 16, so half, 8 points eight. of poison damage. Okay. And uh, it takes... A uh, good old, uh, four. 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 Gives a little yelp pain as a little bird appears on its, uh, four. Oh. You no, know, it is surprising that the, uh, pincers were able to just go, like, fangs went right through into the metal. And clearly the poison did something in there. Okay, and then this one, having seen what. Uh, Nile just did to his friend. He's going to attack Nile. Sure. Not that I know spiders really have friends. Probably. That is a 15 to hit. Uh, meets it. Oh, snap. I will hit it in the face. After damage, right? Yep. So it's 11 points of piercing. Cool. Got a con save. Uh, con save. Oh yeah, it makes it. Mm -hmm. um, um, that is... 18. I don't have advantage on this guy for any reason, do I? No, Guiding Bolt got used up by Luminous Arrow. Oh, you have a Bardic Inspiration. You do have that. 15 um, hits, right? 15 hits. Uh, you also took 9 piercing, uh, poison damage. Sure. You, with the save. There's the damage. Um, That is 17. It is mortal. It I'm just now... keeping track on my sheet, by the way, now. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Um, it is now mortal. And then the cool. last one is going to take a swing at Celia. How dare. Does a four hit? No. And even if it did, it was a natural one. <laughs> uh, and then that one came in. Ones go. Oh, yeah, I had temp HP. <laughs> I'm just gonna re. I'm just gonna add use 12. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> to your current health points. That's correct. <laughs> well, you forgot the. You guys gotta remember that you all. Oh, no, I got you. I remember. I just remembered. So. <laughs> yeah. Two turns later. Now Niles' turn. Cool. So this one blinked out, right? Yep. But this one's not? It is not. Did it make an attack of opportunity on me? Uh, no, it can't. It can. It just can't hurt me. Oh, so you wouldn't even know if it did. <laughs> I was asking you as a DM. <laughs> um... Yeah, I rolled a natural 20 and then crit for zero damage. Cool. Uh, I mean, I had advantage, so that's pretty fair. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let two attacks into this guy here. He's been hit for some damage already, right? He only got hit not by this... the uh, fire damage. Yeah, not this one. Tank. It's the other one Both that hits, beat up. Though. Yep. Oof. That's oh. bad. Yeah, I was going <clears> to <throat> say, literally uh, min-max. Uh, 23 plus 11, 24. This one's also definitely mortal. Oh, and I just gave it a hundred, negative 188 health. Nice. There. It is mortal. Uh, anything else? That's, uh... That's literally all I can do. I'm not gonna cool. bother raging. Okay. Yeah, no, totally fair. So be a... The beer. Well, it 
you only see that one. So, uh, I give it a give it a smack. Yeah, I'll I'll make the a reminder. The you can always attack. ready in action to. Yeah, I I could do that. That's true. Uh, but I'll I'll see if the my golem can beat up this thing first. Oh no! Oh, my golem could beat up your golem. Uh, that misses. And then a second hit. Oh no! <laughs> a second miss, more like it. <laughs> I have to. Fine, I'll do it myself. No I'll do it attack. myself. You know, if you uh, what's your is your strength less than uh, what's your strength mod? Uh, eight. One. Okay. No, negative one. Okay. Punching will not kill it. I'm gonna shocking grasp that one. Uh, as uh, as my action. Where's the button? Where is the button? Where is it? Is it right? Oh, this one. This one. Actually, sorry. My bad. <laughs> this one also is. Yeah, you missed. missed everything, my dude. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> this one is actually also out because I forgot I blinked in there. Damn. Oh, Use a coin. Do you have a coin? I do have a coin. I will use the coin. Nice. The, in, the, also, yeah, literally also, your freaking knight has a plus seven too, so you've rolled a three. A oh, yeah. A three. I know. I will use the coin, is, uh, Isabel, and I'll try again. Please. For the love of Jeebus. Yeah. Is that hey? God, you hit. Yeah. Doesn't mean it'll and kill. Minimum damage. Did kill it. Two? Two killed yes. us? Very it was that exactly two. So I was and this say, one, like, I'm just gonna put the X on because it's the one in the tracker. Shocking <laughs> grasp can do two damage. It can. Well, actually, it can do one damage. Anyways, no after that pathetic uh, display Attempt. of the 20. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it moves on to Celia's turn. Uh, I mean, the spider is actually in front of me now, right? Yeah, it was the yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made it disappear, but that was my mistake, because it just appeared in front of you for on that turn. It can't do both. It can do one or the other. Shink, shink. Does 13 hit? That meets it, beats it. Hell yeah. Wait, why it's is it... looking okay. pretty beat up. In fact, it's looking... That would like that will all that might not yeah okay. I was gonna say that. That's a very that's a rolls minimum damage. Almost rolls, rolls almost, almost max. Maximum. It was at four health. Lovely. Okay. So that one I will come fit. check that out. Literally starts you know this area. That kind of works. Kind of works. Um. Yeah, and that is you're just gonna wait. Just don't get much else. Uh, Quinn, there are no spiders currently visible, so. Oh, wait, I get to and... blink. Okay, you get to roll. Let's. Nope, still still here. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just the first? Yes. Hey there, Miller. Um, eh. Yeah, you can hold an action if you see one to cantrip or whatever. Yeah, hold an action to Guiding Bolt, I because I'm very, very unique. Yes, <laughs> unique and balanced gameplay. Okay, uh, Kel. Woohoo! Are you gonna do the same thing? Of? Yeah, I'll so hold. You cannot see any, but you could hold. A Guiding yeah, Bolt. So give Diamond a, hands. Also give an inspiration to Cecilia. Yeah, I will, uh, cool. uh ape together strong. Do you hear okay. me? Yep. Good. And I will uh, even let you guys choose the two that are left separately. Sure. Uh, boop. As soon as I can remember that I have to switch the GM info overlay to move them back up to the token layer. Boop. So make your attacks and see if they get to do their thing. Oh shit, or there's a dude in that. front of me. We're getting bolt. 23. 23 hits. I will assume yours is at this yeah, one because then Kel's will be at the other one. Yeah. Well, but you will have disadvantage. 
Do you, will you have disadvantage because you're five feet? <laughs> I'll be nice and say he does not. Make the roll. Fifteen hit, yeah. Yeah, fifteen hits. Okay. Uh. That's yeah. I might make the damage roll. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Two ones. Wow, I did 12 total across 4d6. Or 5d6. I got bad news for you. You get the same number as me. I assume it's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it I is going to... Sec, can I... Oh, no, it's... No, because it's not. You are holding to right. do that. It's going to make an attack at Sophia. I impose disadvantage. Cannot do that. Oh. <laughs> um, roll. Does a 14 hit? A 14 does not because I have mage armor on. Hell every, yeah. Every day. Hell yeah. You it like somehow it's like it almost gets its uh, fangs on you and then it just sort of slips away. <sighs> Into the ether, never to return. No, <laughs> no. I Look, it's me. Out. Just like Niles' friends. Look, it's dead. <laughs> Wait, what about the that. other one? You should, you should punch it. What about it's, the other spider? It's dead. It's dead. Uh, it's it said dead? it died. It died. It's dead. It has. Yeah. You killed it. Congrats. Oh, I killed it. Uh, yeah. Dead. This is this thing's fucking dead, dude. Stop, stop, is... dead. <laughs> yeah, literally. You just like you take one swing, cut its head clean off with twenty-four damage, and the second swing you just cut right into its freaking uh, thorax. Just it's already clearly dead, but you were already making the second swing anyway. Um so yeah, that is uh end of combat. Uh -huh. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was a waste of time. It only took like 15 What did we seconds. get out of it? Well, we can take a look around. Is that a of a job well done? So Is you're going anything? now proceed to ransack the homes of random people because there was no one left to save. I would like to oh, hope right ahead. that there's maybe someone, but maybe not. There anyone there is no note. one left. It's very there are mutilated corpses. Oh. Um, there is uh, fresh food if you would like some. But, uh, no. Definitely That's owned okay. by the dead. So it's not owned by anybody. Yeah. Nah. Alright, well. We can, uh, we can head off. Um. I will be writing my construct for while it lasts, and I will also, for the first time, use mending on it to heal it. Nice. Because you said I could. Before I we go, say that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put a note on one of the doors, like a pen, get get a pen or paper, get some, put a note on the door. Astral spiders, we're here. We dealt with it. I mean, our corpses are still here. No, you're welcome. Heart, winky face, quick. I mean, you could definitely, if nothing else, you'd be able to find, like, uh, paper and writing utensils inside one of the houses. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you didn't have any on your person. Yeah, I'll so. just write something like that. Keep the, the smile and winky face, the smile and winky face are very important, so I'd be at it. Of course. Extremely so. Quinn. Okay. Uh, so yeah, if you've uh, noted your HPs, you can move along. And that was actually the only encounter I rolled for the day, so you do make it into Pike's Landing 48, without about any further Oh, incidents. I meant to say 46. Don't look at that number. That's wrong. Oh, no. Look at that number. You're gonna get... roll, you managed to roll uh, the maximum possible on 46 somehow, because it's 24. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah, I mean, your ultimate max. That's actually not that bad. 17. Yeah, that's not really bad. good. 
They didn't deal that much with any of their guiding bolts. Yeah, but it's healing. It's also 4d6, though. It is? No. Uh, guiding bolt is 4d6. Oh, yeah, and they got just 8 each. They got 8, 8, 14. I'm gonna is have there... a random guiding bolt to see what I get. Is there a higher one than 14? I don't remember. <laughs> 7. <laughs> wow. Cursed. Oh. Ouchie, oh, my bones. Girl. You're just now. You're, now you're just wasting them, bro. It's only two. It's so still points. low. <laughs> it's still low. Uh, boo boo boo. Doo, 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 doo. One sec. I'm just going to do. Oh yeah. Also, happy 420 day. Mhm. Mm to everybody. Hooray! Haha, <laughs> funny weed joke. <laughs> Hehe <laughs> XD. The bungus. The bungus. I had a weed soda. Uh -huh. It was nice. Nice. Oh my god, I fucking hate how when you type in the box, if you don't press enter, it just turns into literally nothing. Yeah. And you're naming a new area. Um, boom. Sign so uploading. This one will be the only city that is on a separate section. Why don't you be number dot mp4? That's fine. Um, although I only have the one half of it downloaded, so I gotta fix that first. Jeez. Uh, boom. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, that is exactly what I want. Let's do upload. Uh, this one, boom. And this one. Oh, I need to switch to the map and background because that is how you play the game. Oh, be weaving, not concerned in what nobody wanna say. I think that's about right. Potentially. Probably should have like actually designed these two as being uh, being put on the same map at the same time in mind, but like whatever. Yeah. Boom. Close enough. Northern Pike's Landing, Southern Pike's Landing. <sighs> so they are two separate maps. It's a very, very large, sprawling city, but it is like. You know, you can just walk between the two halves. Specifically, and do I have it all? I'm pretty sure I have it all written down for what they both have. Um, so, I will do that now. Choo -choo. Northern, south. It's a lighthouse. They do. There do be a lighthouse, though. No, we did say there was. There was something wrong with the lighthouse, correct? It does not have any light to be in the house. It is <laughs> daytime. I'm guessing. There, it was nighttime when you were looking, initially. 
Oh, I need to fill in this blank that I left. A blank. You're a monster. Filling in the blanks. Leaving a blank. Because I hadn't actually written the uh. There's two gods glass. at that point. There's two glass blowers. Yeah, shut up. So I will say there is a like specific to the glass blowers. There is um. Unfinished storyline.txt. So don't go there. Got it. Uh, so why why is there like a sheer clipped? I told here? that's just because I didn't make the maps at the same time, with being together and like that in mind. Hmm. So that does. I mean, shut up. It could have been worse. He could have swapped Norford and Southard. I considered doing that just to piss, but just to piss Mark off. Just put a compass on the map that's upside down. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, Hilarious. Yeah, no, I just I made the map separately, and I'm like, but why? Or actually, you know, what would be way more annoying than an upside down compass, one that is just like turned eleven degrees. You're just like, yeah. like Slightly that off center. Just be the most the worthless. Can I push Alt and do it? Yeah, can I turn the map like that too? I was thinking of Braid! This is terrible. I this is that. awful. Yeah, like on my, uh, on the, uh, mine, on the, uh, mines map, where none of the tracks aligned really well. On the mines map, where, uh, it was four pixels per square? Square, yeah, because, uh, I, exporting is hard. Uh, so you do make it to, uh, you know, the place. You are at Pike's Landing. How pleasant. Uh, we were told to go and check with what did I have written down? Pike's Landing to find out the delivery companies who was in charge of it. So... Yep. And what do you she have would have specifically down? said Southern Pikes Landing. Yeah, Southern. Which cool. would be number eight. Don't worry, guys. I mean, yes. A okay. Yeah, we can go straight to eight then. Unless people have other things they want to look at. This place is with the bazaar, with the guy, with the item, right? That is in Northern Pikes Landing at number three. Yeah, so we can also ask about that while we're here. That's true. Did we want to split the party in two and get that done at the same time? Same time, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We can split the sorcerer and the bard. Because they have, I assume, the highest charisma in the party. I also mm. have a high charisma. Yeah, but you're a yeah, split class. A what do you think? My persuasion is high? Yeah, it's pretty high. Thank you very much. <laughs> My persuasion is plus ten. How high okay, is it's it? Not that high. Expertise, baby. Ooh. Yeah, bard do be like that. I Bards do be like that. I have an eight in acrobatics and a seven in deception. Seven nice. in performance. <laughs> also, my man. Five in ah. stealth and slate of hand. <laughs> um, so you can definitely split up uh, and do that if you decide which places you would each like to go. Sophia would like to go to the magic delivery guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I will. Uh, um, mm. uh, the mystery uh, orb kind of is kind of cool though. Maybe. Mysterious orb. Ponder. Ponder the orb. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe the sorcerer goes pondering the orb. Actually, it's pondering. not. It would be the wizard. I think. Yeah. The, I think Cecilia should go ponder the orb. I think I'll go with her because so we can split the high charisma and also Niall has high charisma. But I doubt Niall he's has be... good charisma. It's yeah. not like it's specifically high. Yeah, I just, I just doubt he's gonna talk very much. Well, talk if he needs to. Yeah. So uh, I can go with okay, Cecilia yeah. to ponder the I'll... orb. Go down then. Pondering my orb. I'll go with Kel and potentially. Um, and now I can choose. Nile, if Nile can choose, unless Nile wants to choose which one he wants to go to. Nile's probably gonna tag along with the owl just because he's had the most time with her. Fair enough. Me and Kel will go down. Are you ready, Kel? Where are we going? 
Follow me. Okay. Nice walking. <laughs> I I do I I do that. I do do I do do the do. You follow the small one. Do yes. do do. Do it do. He walks pretty fast for for someone of her stature, small stature. Zooms along. Yeah. Okay, let's, she uh... like oh. walks and has a fun pace. Okay, sorry, and you were going to. We were we were going to number eight at the bottom. Okay, you're going to the uh, yeah the merchants customs, area. Merchants harbor master merchants guild customs uh, office etc. Right oh. Uh, so you see, there's like a area around back where like there's definitely people coming in and going pretty quick. Like a lot of it's uh kind of in a bit of a rush since you're getting closer to the end of the day now. They're trying to get things closed up. You see, there's a small entrance at the front that is specifically labeled for uh, like a customer entrance. Sure, we'll go there. In that case, um, see, so you, you go in. Uh, have you ever been to like a um, you ever been to like post a, office, like, a, a UPS post store? That's like at, but it's like at the airport. No. Oh, at the airport, like this, I mean, there's, huge, there's this I mean, huge warehouse behind it, but like the front is just so depressing and blank. Okay. It's not like a Canada post office where there's like coins and cool stuff. It's literally someone just standing behind the counter. It's like package. Hello, what? Give me box. What? Right. Okay. What are you here for? Um. Then I would say. Um, we're here for a certain, um, we, I would like to know who was in charge of these deliveries for Madam Evelyn, uh, for the, uh, in the right. recent... Oh, I should have mentioned as well, she would have given you a receipt from, like... Yeah, and I'll show her, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I'll show the, uh, the receipt. Uh, Alright, well, I, I can pull up the shipping manifests. Thank you, that'd be very, very kind of you. Uh, do you know proc and then do you know approximately uh how long it's been missing for? I think she did she tell us it was like a week? Yeah. Or something. Did and did she didn't receive a confirmation from the company that they were or anything, any notification of delay. Um did she? I don't think so. No, no right. She doesn't no. even know what company it was shipped with. Um, no, actually, she, she she didn't because uh, shipped by FredEx. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm here to learn uh, which which company was in charge of it because we didn't get the package yet or the the delivery yet. Okay. So specifically noted on the receipt that she was giving you would have been when would have been a receipt of when Customs received it. Yeah. Um, she hadn't got so like. You see, he's like, literally, it's actually really painful watching him. He literally, like, flips through it so slowly. He just clearly All right there, Flash. He doesn't care. Is um, it slow down it's that, there? Uh, it's that, yeah, it's that whatever. Uh, yeah, from, from the, Zootopia. Yeah, from Zootopia. Basically, yeah. except not literally a sloth, but, like, <laughs> like, flips a page, stares at it for, like, a minute. Flips another one. And another one. I mean, Sophia's patient. If anything, she's patient. She'll, uh, she'll after wait. like probably like fifteen minutes, and no one else has come in at this time because it's really not usual for like to need to have to organize anything, especially right. not like later in the day. Yeah. All right, I have it. I think I found it here. I oh, good. Had five crates uh, with various mm -hmm. magic items inspected, mm -hmm. and it was picked up. On time, about uh, five days ago, by 4X. Uh, they've got an office just uh, down the harbor, and he'll like just down the harbor. Keep walking along the ship. Keep walking along the uh, waterfront, and you can't miss it. Thank you. That was very helpful. Uh, does he take payment or anything? Does he walk? Does he look car? No. Payment? Okay. No, he's just like he's like basically just like customer service representative. Not he didn't buy a service or anything. Right. And he's just like, you're welcome. This is where you're pointing at. Yeah, like right in that area. So if you wanna, 
This map will be just for Pike's Landing, so if you do want to draw on it specifically. I drew can, a map, uh, a bridge. You did draw a nice bridge, I did see that. All right. Um, I guess while that while that's happening, you can also do. Uh... Oh, and and he'll just say like, also if you want, you could go out back and look through our look through the incoming and outcoming to see if they never picked it up. They might have just lied or forgotten it. I mean, sure, I'll take a look at that just in case. It that is the case. But yeah, like so specific. He says that, but he says that just because he kind of like has to. Or has to, to remind yeah. you, but you. I'll take a quick look. There. I would I say do make an investigation check though if you want to go take a look. You're not going to find it, but. Sure. Investigation. I'm not good at that, but it's all good. I mean, either you or Calx are both going, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can. I can. I can. Also, the four I can front, act, I can front uh, you the, the, the does the... stand for Fortune Express. I have a plus two, but you might have a higher one. Could also just help whoever's yeah. higher. Yeah. Uh, well, which one, sorry? Investigation. investigation. Oh, then I will uh, perform the help action and guidance. There you oh. go. So you got your plus two, yeah. your advantage, and your plus d4. All right, roll that d4 for me, homie. I thought you had to roll it. <laughs> what? I'd like to I'm... give it to you so that you get to do something. Yeah, that's actually happening to use your keyboard. And... That's literally the only reason why I've been rolling the seat. 17? Yeah, that's like, that's a fair reason. Uh, that's a good roll. So, uh, actually, so yeah, as I said, you definitely like don't notice anything. You do notice, however, um, a bunch, uh, several incoming crates stamped with the same company as the one where that had the huge dig site leading to... Oh, bad place oh uh, a lot of what but it's just like several Oops. crates Oops. stamped with their oh, okay um symbols so small tidbit am i allowed to like take a little quick Quick, like slide a hand. You could slide a hand step. to try and get a peek inside. Like I'd say, one of them Excellent. is a jar. Uh, yeah, the one that's a jar. Well, to be honest, why though, would it... you have to peek in if it's a jar? <laughs> well, because uh, like several different brands of jarred peanut, they are oh. making the jars out of opaque brown plastic instead of nice. Why? Beer. Because Kraft hates you. <laughs> Yeah, and wants you to not buy their peanut butter anymore. Alright, I'll try I'll try my hand at uh, just taking a quick old look at the side of hand or something. As long as there's not a bare naked man currently standing Oh fuck the yeah, door, they don't they don't fucking notice you uh, taking a peek inside. And uh, you see a lot of it is actually just regular exports from mining. Oh, That's okay. like there's a lot of rock stuff in the script. There is also a small box that is like you can easily see just sort of like off to the side it contains a diary i'm or like not a diary a journal like i okay this isn't very good of me but at the same time it's she thinks to herself this is for the greater good it's yep. just swipe it okay because I the company say, this company's evil or, or at can... the very least has like some link to the problems at hand Ex exactly so the more we know, the Got better. Links to the troubles. Excellent. So greater good, she oh. just wiped it. Excellent job. That will have some very cool things in it. But nice. screw off, because I don't have any of that written down. That's A-OK. -okay. And we I would actually, since, especially since I have two weeks before next, yeah, yeah, I'll actually weeks. write real things instead of nice. just like with other things being like... You'll write it in a notebook. Generic. Here. You'll write it in a real life notebook and you send a picture of us. A very blurry picture. No, I'll write it in a real notebook and uh, literally go drop it off at, in front of Max's house one day. <laughs> Even though I have no idea where he lives. Prince of Wales, now you know. Oh, hey, I used to live there. That's also like nice. one of the longest roads in Ottawa. Okay, yeah. Well, the three buildings he lives on like Bank Street. Oh my god, like in the apartments there? Yeah, the apartments on Moon. Uh, yeah, the, the, 
the yeah with the pool outside and whatnot i yeah. literally lived there no that makes sense though like so many people who went to carlton lived there <laughs> pretty good yeah. uh pretty good cheap apartments that are it, is, like, it is too sketch it's actually nice the one i'm in is, is actually really nice and so i mean they're like they're not like they're not like super modern or insane oh no like, no no they're not anything, extravagant they're like actually yeah. just nice and clean they're they're nice and clean apartments yeah. i wish also, there was ac there's only there's only a couple uh, robots. Yeah, I lived in the uh, fourteen oh one. Yeah, that New makes sense. Apartment apartment nineteen oh three. Now no. everyone is. Oh gone. my god! Is that your apartment? Lived in the same building as me, but oh. on the same floor. Okay, it would have been funny if it was the same apartment. Come on. The floor you one. I had a buddy that lived on floor four. I can't remember what uh, apartment number he was though. Oh no, I'm on. I'm on ten. Oh, I'm on floor ten. To continue talking, we will get. Done. Yeah, no, I was about to say, like, you just got, like, your entire address out here. Anyway, no, that's, oh, that's fair. Um, might as well give you all I said is Prince of Wales. Bro, you get, went pretty yeah. specific. It's fine. For, for me, care. I did not I care I because, care. yeah, not a fair point. Sorry about that. I'm standing out, uh, standing out here with I cared you. much less because I only lived there. <laughs> yeah. Four or five years ago. Someone, uh, please, people, please don't be mean to whoever lives there now. Normal people can't go in, get into these apartments without keys. Bro, it's not actually that hard. Do you wanna, do you wanna see all of the videos on the internet of people just doing I it with like a card? Of a lock picking lawyer. Yeah, come on. <laughs> do you not even know the strategy of just walking in behind someone who has a key? Yeah, honestly. Uh, no. Okay, so here, here, I've got into that building, uh, and fifty percent of the time I didn't get let in. You know. Only 50%? Yeah, only 50%. Because, like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, there's no one out here. And I, like, don't wait the five minutes it takes to wait for someone. Yeah, no. I mean, there is a sign that says you shouldn't let people in. But <laughs> yeah, nobody but... Nobody cares. But nobody cares. Anyways, all that aside. Um, very funny. He, he, XD. Um... And yeah, so I will have that, uh, should be ready by next session for sure, uh, and, but we will say you can look over it as you, uh, oh, yeah. potentially go to the other place. And, the other place, yeah. Uh, if you want, we could start the bizarre stuff too, it is, but it'll be it's 9:30. basically 9.30. So yeah, we'll just end it here, and we'll do nine, the bizarre in two weeks. Sounds good, because that's what I was going to say, too, is that the bazaar is going to be likely to be the longer of the two, because there's also, unlike Noah. Custom's Place, shit to buy. You can, you can make a, a, a bazaar adventure joke. Oh, no. I already made I'll a... Do that. I just made a joke. Get bizarre. out of here. Yeah. Did you kick him out? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they called bazaars? They seem pretty normal. Oh, could, wait, oh, I can't, oh, shit. Did I, if I disconnect him, does that prevent him from rejoining? No, he should be able to rejoin. He's in Toa. He's in Toa. I, I oh. can. <laughs> wait, hello? Were you unable to rejoin? No, I just, I, I, I oh, clicked. clicked the wrong one. That's funny. Okay, good. Anyways. Yeah, because there's, there's no other, uh, the, oh, I'll, I'll end stream. Uh, good night. Good night. Bye-bye.